smoothly, but great to be here as always. <sighs> I'm gonna be playing some more Let's Go Pikachu tonight, so that'll be good. Um, I'm just gonna tweet out, tweet, and post the Facebook thing, because that's always what we like to do, and then we'll get straight into it. It's gonna publish, publish. There we go, excellent. Okay, cool. Let's get into it. We are gonna continue right on where we left off last night, so. I think we're just about in Mount Moon, aren't we? I think we feel that by Pokemon. Let's just make sure, actually, before we go any further. Uh, no, we haven't healed up. We need to heal up. Let's talk to Nurse Joy. And we'll get some. Pokemon. So normally we do a VGC stream like Battle Spot, but because I've just acquired this game and we did a, a, a our first stream uh, with Let's Go last night, and I said I would do the playthrough uh, on stream, all of it. Um, I thought, why not carry it on tonight? So it should be quite fun. What's this hiker dude? I came to Mount Moon from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. That's right, you can ride on certain Pokemon like Onyx. Ah, oh, that would be, that'll be cool. And Yuri, how are you doing my friend? Thanks for joining us tonight, I hope you're well mate. I hope you're feeling a lot better as well. And uh, not, uh, and your day's been very well. I know you had an early start today, so I hope it's been a good one my friend. Ouch, I tripped over a Geodude light on the ground. Isn't this where you buy carp? Where, by carp? What? You just got home. Ah, uh, you just got home, okay. And I can buy carp? Where can I buy carp? Can I buy carp in the, the Pokemon Center? I'm a bit just, just being trolled. Okay, let's talk to people. Okay, I've got all my Pokeballs on my belt. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep, that'll do. No matter how many Pokemon you have in your Pokebox, you can only take six into battle. Good advice. Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. Ah. Oh. Will it do the little lullaby for us? I'm joking. I'm joking. We could do it though. <laughs> right. Who's this? When you try to catch Pokemon, yeah, you sometimes see a green ring. Yeah, that kind of Pokemon is easy to catch. Yeah. Saying yeah way too much. It might be the next end. Oh, okay. Cool. If the ring's yellow, it'll be a bit harder, yeah, and that the red ring, that Pokemon might be really hard to catch. Okay, so that means that it's it's big. If you catch a lot of Pokemon, you'll end up with more than you can carry around in your party, but all the ones that you can't carry just stow in a Pokemon box in your bag, so no sweat. Plus, no matter how full your Pokemon box gets, it's easy to search to find the Pokemon you want. Excellent. Hello there, lady. Have you got a deal just for you? I'll let you have a secret Pokemon, a Magikarp for just 500. We'll buy it, 100%. Seems like a bargain. You paid an outrageous 500 yen, I guess, and bought the Magikarp. You were right, Yuri. It is this Pokemon Center. We get our first Magikarp. Who should we name it after? There's no one here to, to dibs on names. Tucked Magikarp away in the Pokemon box in your bag. Can we buy another one? Well, I don't give refunds. You knew that you were getting. Okay, we did. We did know what we were getting. There's a picture of Booktail, Clefairy in the Moon. You read it. Yes. Roly poly Clefairy, roly, roly roll around. Rambling up a mountain, really gaining ground. High upon mountain. No, high upon Mount Moon, they gaze up at the sky. P, 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 the moon fills each last eye. Roly poly Clefairy, see the spin and bound. PPP, happy smiles all around. That was so worth our, uh, our time. And Nigel, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us tonight, my friend. You want dibs on the uh, the old Magic Carp? I guess we will. Uh, we'll put it in our team as well. What are we going to replace though this evening? I can't replace. Uh, uh, I can add to party. What do I replace it for? Um, my friend, how are you doing? The sax lad, did you see? The greatest saxophonist in the history of saxophonists. You will be 100% one day, my friend, if you're not already. In my eyes, you are. But I hope you're well, mate, sorry. Um, thanks for joining us tonight. We are, um, we are gonna continue on with this. 
I'm gonna replace Midge. I feel bad. But Midge, we'll come back to you. We'll add the magic carp in. Because we want that Gyarados, right? We 100% want that Gyarados. Um, change your name. Okay. It's it's annoying that we only have um, like so many spaces and uh, our party. But I guess that's always Pokemon, isn't it? Don't worry, Nigel. One day you'll grow into a massively powerful um, Gyarados. At the moment... Hello, my friend. 5T. 3V. Oh, 3-3. Three, three. How are you doing, mate? I love saying that username. That handle is great. I hope you're well. Thanks for joining us tonight. Ethan, how are you doing, mate? We're going to be playing some Let's Go. I, I only started yesterday, so... See that cute little Meowth on the top as well? And there's a Paris. Let's go. Uh, it's Team Rocket. Dun, 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 dun. Looks like there's nothing here. Should I try and get my, my, my James and Jesse voice on? I don't know if we're going to be able to do that well. Then let's just search a little farther in. And nah, I can't, I can't do it. It's not going to be, it's not going to be the same. You, you were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Meowth, you were supposed to be keeping watch. That's what the Meowth was. We know there are rare fossils buried around here somewhere. You got any? You'd better hand them over to us, twerp. Ha. That's right, if anyone is going to profit off those rare fossils, it's going to be us. You know who I wish I had right now is Jay Blake. He does an amazing Jesse and James impression. And Nigel, at least levelling this sucker is damn sight easier than the originals. Yeah, 100% man. And yeah, finally have the time. Currently shiny hunting for Poliwag. Nice! Let us know how your progress goes with that. You know what I like about this version of Mount Moon as well? Is that there isn't a constant... Um, Zubat popping up in just every two steps. Zubat, Zubat, Zubat. After dinner, gonna continue Eevee. Nice. Okay. Get your Pokeball through the moving ring and you can get a bonus for great technique. We're not gonna do that because you know how bad I was last night. As the ring gets smaller, that's your chance to try and snag a great bonus. Okay. The fairy's not one to play. That seemed like it was right in the middle. But we're wasting great balls here. We should change back to Pokeballs. <gasps> and who wants dibs on the Clefairy? Okay, nice. Yes! Who wants dibs? I am naming each first Pokemon that I catch of every kind. Every different variety of Pokemon um, is getting dibs. How much did Oddish me grow? Oddish me grew quite a lot, but I just I just replaced the Oddish Midge with with Magikarp just so we can level it up a little bit. But don't worry, Oddish will be with us at the Elite Four, a hundred percent. Well, it'll be a Vile Plume by then. I feel like I'm wasting. Um, Great balls here. I shouldn't really be doing it. Oh, Midge! You were, yeah, we were like level 14 with it. Okay. Let's go bag and let's get. Let's give it a raspberry. It seems kind of angry. Okay. And then let's go back to Pokeball. Because I don't want to waste all that great balls. Okay, we can do the throwing thing. Excellent! Okay. I really want an Onyx in here. That'd be cool. So we can ride it. And there's some delay. Still, I thought I worked out the delay. I know, Yuri. Okay. Oddish was like our strongest Pokemon other than Pikachu. Guys, keep the um keep the dibs coming if you want if you want the, the Clefairy name, if you want Geodude. Go for it. But if you want to wait for some better stuff later on, then that is totally understandable. Who's this little chap? There are suspicious characters lurking around in the caves. And you are... Not one of them. Desynced already. Okay. After this, we after this match, we'll sort this out. I think one of the things I could do to really sort it out 
is probably. <sighs> okay. Um. If I do, can I do this? Can I go to? Can I go to live properties? And then. Okay. So bear with me, guys. I'm just gonna try and figure out if I can. Maybe. Does that work? Oh, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. I've done something. Okay, this might be... Okay. Now the music's probably like, way too loud. So, that should be all synced up now. It just means that I cannot... I cannot listen to it. Because I've got to either feed it through the computer. Then... Um, and I'm streaming through an Elgato HD60. Yeah. Um, no, right, okay. We, we need to find this butterfly. Hopefully the sound is better now and it should have synced up because it's coming straight from the switch so what like before so I could hear it as well I was feeding it through the Elgato through my PC and then into some headphones okay quite loud okay let's let's turn it down let's turn it down let's turn it down let's turn it down okay how's that we're gonna have to tweak with it to get it right because I literally cannot hear it I can't hear any of the music. It's sad. I mean, I could turn on the the stream, but then the stream's behind my gameplay because there's like a delay on the the stream. So that would be a way for me to do it. Just cut the delay out. And Luigi, how are you doing, my friend? Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you're well, and I hope you enjoy the stream with everyone else. No, it's a Zubat. Ah. See, we can't even get away from it, even in this game. And I meant delay between the chat if I'm honest it's like eight seconds on my end really ha huh. um hmm I wonder what that is with Midge I would say maybe try refreshing the page maybe that that resolves it hopefully it does one of these days I swear guys the streams will all run will all run perfectly hopefully Johnny learned smoke screen. Where is Johnny tonight? I wonder if he will bless us with his presence. Again, guys, if you want dibs on any of these Pokemon, let me know. Let me know. But if not, like I say, it's fine because we'll be getting like lots of. Uh... <laughs> and thanks, mate. Yeah, I will need the luck with that. What? I'm waiting for friends to find me here. You hang around in caves, waiting for your friends to find you. It's like a bad game of hide and seek. Challenged by Lass Evelyn. She sent out a bell sprout. Nine seconds. Oh man, this is not cool. What is going on? Can we thunder shock this thing? Even use the stop. Wow. Okay. That's like super bad. That's like really bad. I wonder why it is actually. Oh, is that not bad at all? Is it not? Okay. I have no idea about this stuff. I just presume everything should be, like, synced up, synced up, synced up. Takes time to upload and process. Okay, cool. Go concern it, Twitch. Sorry, Evelyn, as well. Okay. This makes it kind of difficult for me to... Ah, it's Jesse and James. Um, I wonder if... No, because if I turn the sound on and I listen to stuff on the stream, then I'll hear my voice and, like, I definitely don't want that because that'll just totally throw me out. There's another Clefairy! There we go. We'll get another one while we're here. Look at it. It's so cute. That was, like, the worst throw ever, wasn't it? And, I mean, that was terrible. Guys, if you want lessons on how not to throw Pokeballs, this is it. <laughs> on PC, I believe you can check it somehow. Okay. Let me see if I can have a look. Streamlabs. Hmm. Where is it? Uh, 
I don't know if I can check. I don't know where to check, to be honest. Um, hmm. I don't know. I will find out. Not right now, but I will definitely find out and we will see if we can improve that because that would be kind of cool if we could keep all those. I don't even know if it's possible. Once you learn sleep powder. Yes. Uh, let's get rid of the old growl. I think it's just in the stream. Ah, okay. Technology is amazing. You can stream your gameplay. Everyone can see it in less than 10 seconds. <laughs> Technology is so good. Ah, oh, cool. Thanks, Yorang. That is super helpful. Um, okay. So. There's another Geodude. Okay, we're not going to catch everything, everything. Although we probably should, because it does help us level up quite a lot. It's a Team Rocket grunt and, like, a bunch of stuff. We need to get that big, big, bad Zubat. It's huge! I love that it states that. Okay, man, this is like, we need to just, okay, this is the, okay, let's compose ourselves, let's do this, the Zubat's having a real good time, can I time it? No! Every time, every time. There we go, okay, we get it. <sighs> it's kind of embarrassing. Especially when we don't get it, with like a great throw as well. Can we time it right? There we go. We get, we're getting better. We're getting better. Hand-eye coordination is not... Okay. We're never going to get this Z-Bat. No, we are. We, we're going to get it. Let's get this Raspberry on the go. Okay. There we go. There we go. One, two, three. Yes. Linny, how are you doing, my friend? Thanks for joining us tonight. It is Let's Go! Yeah, so I, I started playing last night. Uh, we're going to continue on tonight. We'll probably have a break tomorrow night, but then we'll continue Thursday and Friday. You did it! Thanks for the cheer and the bit. The bits. Do I get bits like I normally do if we're making bad plays? Do I get bits now for bad throws? And Will, how are you doing, my friend? Flinch Squad! You have arrived. Hope you're well, mate. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream tonight. Living the dream, catching the Zubat and Mount Moon, I see. Already, it started. I came into Mount Moon and I was like, it's great how you can, like, not walk three steps and bump into a Zubat. And then straight away, a Zubat pops up and, and gets us. We, Team Rocket, are the Pokemon Bandits. We strike fear into others with our strength. Ah. Oh. I'm hoping the sound's really good here. That's cool. That that overlay is amazing. You're challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. Little Ranata. Okay, Pikachu. Let's nail this thing. It's only got one Pokemon. Level 9. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. I don't know. Did I hear right? I don't know. I read somewhere, but I didn't really read the article, so I didn't really read it. I was like skim reading stuff, and there was like something about a hard mod on this. But I don't know how much truth there is in that. <laughs> and you I don't have many bits. Not 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 that many for how bad my throwing is. There's no amount of compensation anyone has, my friend, I don't think for that. A rare candy. Excellent. Rare candy jar. And a little geo dude. Um I mean, man, this is like a swarm of Pokemon in here. We're just gonna dodge out of the cave, because I want to try and make some good progress tonight, I feel. I feel that would be... That would be good. And like, I'm really eager to get to Cerulean City. And then get to like Nugget Bridge and stuff like that. Okay, we came down that way. So yes, it is this way, I remember. But I remember there's... In the original game, there's something down here. I think. Ah, uh, okay. People want a hard mode. I hate these Zubats. They're so hard to catch. One, two, three, break out. No, we get it, okay. The Cerulean music is really nice in this game. <sighs> I'm just gonna have to watch this this segment back when we get to Cerulean City, the, like, the, the stream, so we can, um, I can experience it. And you can run from Zubats. 
I I kind of feel like we should combo them up so we can get some maybe rare stuff if there's any rare Pokemon in this cave. I'd imagine there probably will be, right? Who's this guy? What? Don't sneak up on me! Okay, he's a trainer as well. But if there's no rare Pokemon in here, there's no point of comboing up, I guess. Super nerd, Joe sent out Grimer. This might be tough. Grimer's, like, I think pretty specially defensive. Or it could be totally wrong, and we'll just nuke it now. And Yeah, I don't think it's going to be too hard. This Pikachu is just too strong. And I hope we get some more outfits soon as well. That would be great. Like, I've seen some really cool outfits that you can put Pikachu in, so it'd be cool to get some soon. There's Paris. Don't know how rare. Yeah, there's that Paris at the start when we came in. That's probably like just a generic one when Team Rocket were there, I guess. Um, I should actually put my, um, my little wrist strap on, because I haven't even got it. I was like charging my controllers last night, so I didn't actually put it on. What's just happened? Geodude. Okay. Let's uh, run away. Run from the Geodude. If you change you back, I think some unexpected Pokemon might show up. Ah, I see. That's good news. And Isis, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoyed the stream this evening. It was so much fun last night. I had so much fun with you guys. It was like, honestly, like one of the best streams I've done in like a very long time. It was so much fun. So big shout out to you all for coming last night. Um, I honestly, like I finished up and I was like, oh, I was on such a high and I was like, I just want to stream more and more and more, but like, it'd be cool if I didn't actually have a day job, I'd do this way more often, but that's just how things are. But never mind, I, I'm not complaining about it. And I just playing and watching you at the same time, living the dream. This, that is the dream, man. I want to, like, I need to catch more Let's Go streams as well. I've kind of been putting off watching any Let's Go content as well, because I didn't really want to... Like, as much as I know the storyline, I didn't want to spoil the, the, the little differences for myself. That was the thing. Um, but now I'm playing it, I can, uh, I can totally get involved and in, uh, see some other stuff and start exploring what else there is to do post-game and stuff like that, which is kind of nice. And Ethan, I've seen some cool hairstyles for Pikachu. You can style its hair. That's cool. There's a Paris. Okay. Rare Pokemon. And as Lee throws his controller into the computer, fit of rage and the stream cuts out. It will totally happen at some point. Okay, this Paris is just, I mean, okay, excellent. That means, I'm hoping, we should get this Paris. One, two, three, we get it. Okay, anyone want dibs on Paris? If you do, shout out. Like I say, don't worry if you don't, because there will be plenty of good Pokemon later on that we will be um, we'll be getting our mitts on so you can you can dip those later in the stage you know I don't mind people dipping multiple Pokemon Mitch Sam I'm only watching you because you're behind me ah cool so I need to what I need to do Mitch is not get ahead of you so you keep coming back and we can hang out and do this because uh, it is a lot of fun there's another Paris this is like Paris City down here and well, I can't wait for Let's Go Palkia. I want to style Palkia's hair and have the <laughs> then sporty claws. That would be incredible. Let's go Palkia. I was serious about, like, I want to play the Palkia team in the last two weeks of the channel. I think it would be a lot of fun. I think a lot of people would um, enjoy it as well and uh, realise how good a Pokemon it is. And maybe get people prepared for Moon. I really think Palkia is going to be so good in Moon. I really do. I really do, but we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. Um, with the Waterium, it just seems like it could be super scary. And uh, I will do, have a thing for Parkit. <laughs> and another Paris. Do we combo Paris? I don't think we do. I think maybe we leave it after this one. Come on. Excellent. We're getting better at this, guys. We just need a little bit of time to warm up. I wish they just changed up the story. Would enjoy Kanto again a bit more, probably. Yeah, that's true. Like, if there was... Like, I can't really say right now, because it has been pretty similar. But yeah, if there was some some cool variations, that would make it that would make it a lot more fun. Butterfree. Yes, we want Sleep Powder on, like, everything that we can. 
Uh, we'll get rid of Stun's Ball. We don't need the, the Paralysis. Shiny Tapilele is hype. Yes. Ethan, this weekend... For those of you that don't know, it is an, is an online tournament this weekend. If you register and play, then you get a prize of a Shiny Tapilele. Which is pretty awesome. Like, I've wanted Shiny Lele for such a long time. Um, I can't actually wait to get a hold of it. And according to sources, it's not nature locked either, which makes it even better. So, hopefully that is the case. There's another Paris. We can totally combo Paris. Imagine if we get a shiny Paris. How good would that be? Do the Pokemons have IVs and EVs? IVs, yes. EVs, something similar. Oh, that's cool. EVs are much harder. Ah, Mitch, Badge, Anderson, Strats here. Sleep on everything, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all we need now is the gravity. Gravity Hypnosis or Grass Whistle, and then we're, we're good to go. And a Sableye. Hoping it'll be available for Harrogate. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true, actually. With it being so close, uh, you would think that it should be. Like, it should be. But you, you think, like, Sometimes with how they are with these things, it takes them a little bit of time to um, to update the rules and stuff. So maybe. Oh, that was terrible. The streak is not going well. There we go. Um. Yeah, maybe we don't get it, but it would be awesome if we could get it for Harrogate. That would be amazing. And uh, yes, Dublin 2016. What a great event that was as well, man. That was such a good event. That was, like, incredible. You smashed it that weekend as well. You and Baz were that crazy team. Please only need to play it once. Once was more than enough. And our, our set was amazing as well. Uh, Yuri, basically, EVs are replaced by AVs. Max of 200 in every stat. No total cap. And every AV give one point per level. Wow. That's crazy. Do you remember the telepathy dialogue? <laughs> God, done by the hack. Yes, I do. <laughs> the man. That's so dumb. Because it was legal, right? I'm sure it was legal. Yikes, quit following us. I need to work on our James voice. I need Jay Blake lessons. We need J JB to, to hit the stream so uh, you can tell us how to um, to do Jesse and James. Some Meowth. I could maybe do some New York style Meowth, I guess. Give that a go next time Meowth makes an appearance. Um, but yeah. I remember something about Telepathy Del Dialga, but it was the first regional. I played that team four times in total. Yeah, it was legal. So only lost my marbles. Yeah, that team, Nigel. That team. It's one of those teams, like, it's just like you make one wrong move at any point. Uh, and it just destroys you. Uh, there's another Paris. Like we're properly combo on Paris. What's with this? What's the story with that? Uh, so the story is... Uh, I can't throw Pokeballs! But there we go. Um, yeah, like their hack check hadn't been updated. So it showed um, telepathy as an illegal ability on Dialga so that I think the player got DQ'd, right? And yeah, they, like... Okay, we don't want this thing to run. No! Uh, all of our combo time wasted. I mean, we could combo Zubat. It would be the better thing to combo. But our combo is now broken, I believe. Which is very sad. Who's this little guy? Did you come to explore the cave too? Yes, we did. Yeah, it wasn't just one, there was a bunch of them. Yeah. I always remember that guy in, was it 2015 UK Nats? Was it 2015? I think it was 2015 UK Nats. And uh, there's a guy that went like, 8-0 in Swiss or something like that and he had a Hydreigon I think it was, I think he went about 8 8 zero, nine, zero, something like that and then he got pulled up on stream for hack checking he's um hack checking because the Hydreigon was like under leveled or something like that that was bad, yeah level 50 Hydreigon yeah 
Did they get into trouble or did they realize it was a mistake? I think at that event, Ethan, I think the, the people got DQ'd. I think, I'm pretty sure. It was like a big deal at the time. It was 7R, I think he played a rash. Oh wow. And it was on stream, wasn't it? Yeah. Super bad. Super bad. That, that got kind of brushed under the carpet. Kept quiet. <laughs> and that was so bad. Hiker Marcus sent out Geodude. Was it watches at the event that caught? I think so. I think it was because of the stream that he got pulled up on it. I think it was like team preview or something that the level was there because it didn't like I don't think it leveled up or down in team preview. Showed show the actual level, and I think that's what the the viewers kind of um, tweeted out about about it at the event. So yeah, kind of sucks for the guy, but I mean, if you're going to hack, like I'm not, I'm not. I'm not condoning it, I'm not saying that you should do it, but I mean if you're gonna do it, just make sure that you're not doing it wrong. Like, yeah. I mean it's wrong anyway, kids. We do not hack Pokemon. We catch them, we love them, we breed them, we level them up, EV them, and do it all legit. No, no, no. So, yes. But I mean, yeah, that's like, it's just, yeah, it's just like, if you're gonna do it, just make sure you actually do it so you don't get pulled up so obvious. It happens all the time. We found a pearl. And Johnny, you've finally arrived, my friend. We were talking about you just a little while ago. So good to have you here, my friend. I hope you enjoy the um, the stream tonight. And uh, we will definitely enjoy your company. And, uh, well, I remember the guy at UK Nat 16 who got DQ'd with water sport, sport Kyogre. I remember hearing about this. <laughs> like... How annoyed would you be? Like, oh man. Why is, why is Water Spout not doing anything? It's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so hilarious. Just so silly to make such a mistake. I know, right? And yeah, that was the first large event. I know, right? Yeah. Here we go. I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna. We, the name that cannot be spoken on, on, on the stream. It's like Lord Voldemort. Yeah, we don't, we can't, <laughs> can't see his name on the screen. It attracts him. Not that I'm big enough, or I do, I'm relevant enough for him to uh, to do anything on. So we're quite lucky in that respect. But uh, I, I kind of like it that way as well, because uh, guys, guys got some outlandish opinions on things, hasn't he? And uh, yeah, I know. I got out of work from less than an hour ago. Oh man, that is a long day, dude. I hope you are ready to rest up enjoy your evening and uh, just chill out a bit and I hope the stream can help you do that as well man uh, I think it was round two because he clicked it and gotta get the game for us a oh, while wow. well, I forgot you got him DQ'd right <laughs> what are you talking about you said you were talking about me Lee. Uh, we were just saying um, when our little Charmander who is Johnny Hacks leveled up, learned smog screen, and it got us on to uh, me wondering when when you would grace us with your presence tonight. So yeah. That would that was it mate. We just missed you, that was all. But now you're here and everything is fine and everyone is happy. And I just uh it feels weird not encountering a zoo back. I know, right? It's kinda nice in a way, it's like I remember Mount Moon being so frustrating back in the day. It was like Oh, these throws are terrible. Come on, Lee. I mean, where did that go? Okay, let's do this. That's better. I mean, I'm doing this and that, and it's like, not even doing anything. I think you got through the hack check, yeah. I think you did, Ethan, um, initially. Um, so stuff does get, pa like, stuff does go through. We've seen stuff get through the hack check before, because it doesn't check for, like, I think... Well, I'm not really sure what it checks for, to be honest, but I'd imagine it just checks for um, EVs, um, stats, I guess some moves as well, but I mean, like, I don't know. I would have really, like, I'd, I really don't know. I've never even seen one of the hack check devices. They keep them, like, super, like, lucky, and even being 
on the the stream team I've never had I've never seen one I've never actually seen the screen I've never been given access to one I have asked and I've tried my luck as many like lots of times but um oh you broke your combo at 29 I want to cry for you right now man I want to cry I hope the next combo goes better for you we'll be sending our good vibes to you but yeah I think like I would I really hope in future that their hack check system um, gets gets better. I don't know why I'm getting ready to throw. I'm like, you can catch a drowsy, but um, yeah, I think it could be like way more improved. But at the same time, I think the the way that you like level up your Pokemon, train them, and things like that could be a lot easier, um, especially for like entry level players and things like that. Um, like what I would love to see um, in future is um, an actual like. Like, it would be amazing if Pokemon Game Freak teamed up with, like, the guys that put Showdown together and, like, put something like that in game so you could go online and just build your own team super quickly and test stuff out online. Um, I mean, that would be incredible. That would be a huge step for um, the competitive side of the game. Makes it super accessible for um, newer players coming in. And even if you can't take those teams to tournaments, at least you can do all of your testing, which I think is the hardest job because, like, you want to test stuff, right? But like, you, you, you have to spend so much time, like, building your team. Like, you spend hour, like, like, ten to fifteen hours training up six Pokemon, EV in them, and that's after you've played through the game and stuff like that. And um, we're gonna come back to this because we're we're at a special moment here. We're at a special moment. Your iron is evolving. Bulbasaur, we're gonna get a little Ivysaur. It's gonna be so cute. Ah, oh. can we get a Venusaur? Can it be our first like three stage evolution? Ah, oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Look at these graphics, they're amazing. Look, everything looks so sharp, just so nice. They have done a really good job with this game. It looks just like amazing. The lighting, everything just looks, it just, it's so good. The bud on its back grows by drawing energy gives off an aroma when it's ready to bloom. Nearly ready to bloom. And sorry, I'll come back to the chat. Oh my god, what is this? It's a Chansey. How do these things appear here? Okay, we've got to, who wants dibs on the Chansey? We've got to make sure we catch this thing. Because this thing, I, I'll be, I'm going to be really sad if this runs away. We've got to use great balls as well. We cannot disrespect the Chansey. Can it? We can't, like, catch it over there. Come on. Okay. Okay. I feel like I need to aim that way. I can't aim over there. How do I do it? It's like... There we go. That's how we do it. Okay. We do a swing motion. And then it's, like, terrible. We're going to run out of great balls. There we go. Excellent. Come on. We can do this. We get it. We get it. We get it. Leah, I asked before, sorry Yuri. Okay, I asked before, but why did you change to calling me Yuri instead of Yuri? You started like uh, two or three weeks ago. It was actually when I was re watching back um, some, some of the streams from Frankfurt and Rob was pronouncing your name and I was like, oh my god. And Romy as well was on the stream pronouncing your name and I was like, ah. I pronounced it wrong for so long and I was like, I need to start pronouncing it right. So that is why I was like, I learned from Rob and Romy and now I can I can say it properly because you know how bad I am. So I can go back, I can revert back, I can sure revert back. But I mean, I mean, you probably prefer to be pronounced how you, how it should be pronounced, right? But if not, who wants Chansey as well? Who wants Chansey? Who wants the bag the Chansey? I mean, this is a pretty big deal. Oh, really? <laughs> Every foreigner calls him that. Oh, so it wasn't just me then. It wasn't just a, a Lee thing. I'm glad me and Rob could help you. Always. And then, like, you guys did such a good job, like, streaming that event. It was, it was like, really fun to watch. It was like my pre-Brazil prep, watching through those games and uh, checking out what you guys were doing. Taking tips and pointers, as always. Um, Stall Trainer is perfect for Chansey. Is he here? Here we go. 
Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. No one associated with VGC wants to be called Chansey. <laughs> Stall trainer, if you want Chansey, man, we will do this. We will make this happen right now. All right, Meowth, go get those fossils. Meowth, dare see? It's kind of, it's kind of, it's not like ideal. It's not great. Quit goofing around and go already. Okay, we'll go after we have to beat this Zubat. Um, where was I talking about, uh, yeah, the next game? So, with hack checking and stuff like that, I feel like one of the things we could do is Game Freak could implement a showdown um, system in the new game where you can play online, uh, you can build, you can test, you don't need to waste time building your final team. Um, and, I mean, one of the things it doesn't take away from all of those good aspects of Pokemon, like training up and all that sort of thing, you could keep that in. So you can't use these showdown kind of online testing teams at a, a live tournament. You have to still train them up and do that. But I mean, it would be a it would be a big like a big step I think for for the competitive side in general. Um, and I think like look how popular showdown is. I mean, everyone uses that because it's so convenient. It's quick. You can test stuff like like without like wasting time on having to breed things up and stuff like that. I just think it's a really good way uh, for them to like develop the competitive scene. But that is all down to Game Freak and whether they would like to implement anything like that. And I don't know if they will because it's not really missing the game. And watching Lee's Thomas. Thomas is here. He's having a great time. Which came first, the chancy or the egg? Romy. Tom's like Tom's like been here since the start, man. He's been here, Romy. You missed out last night. We had such a good night. All of us chilling out, catching Charmanders, catching Bulbasaurs. We had a chill in Viridian Forest. It was great. But you're here now, so you can enjoy it as well. Johnny, as I said before, there's no need to uh, no need to put on simulator in game. The global link can have a team builder which creates a QR code for that and scan, and you'll be forced to play a console anyway. That's true. That's true. And is this the Alice Switch? Rock slide chance he has a gimmick. <laughs> Here's the guy with the fossils. Hey stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Okay. Do you think if we beat him he'll give us one? I maybe think he will. Oh he texts. See, he's even pulling people in for me. Like so much so much love for Tom. He's like my he's like a, a, a Twitch promoter. Uh can we can we what's Thundershot gonna do? I don't think it's gonna do too much. Let's double kick this thing. I don't think this will do very much either. Okay, this is respectable damage. The one thing that really interests me, okay guys, and this like has me, and I think it probably has um, player Pokemon scratching their heads with what they're going to do, is when Pokemon does move to um, Gen 8, okay, um, let's give something else a try, what's coming in, okay, let's give Charmander a go, because we haven't seen Charmander yet, yes, let's try it, um, when it moves to Gen 8, how are they going to run VG tournaments on Switch consoles. Because your Switch console battery pretty much only lasts for, what, three hours? And there is no infrared built in there. So, like, I don't know how they're gonna link up battles, because you're gonna have a room of, like, 200 people, plus all the Switch consoles, because it will be hype when it first comes out. You've gotta say, like, it's gonna be big again. Uh, like it normally gets that boom when when a new gen comes out. Everyone will want to take part and play, which is always a magical time in the, uh, the competitive scene. But I do wonder how they're going to do it. Like I really do. I mean, you can have charging ports on every table. That's a big deal. Um, it is a lot easier than providing switch consoles on each table. But uh, yeah, I really don't know which fossil are we going to go for as well. How are Smash tournaments then? I don't know. Probably cost too much though as well. I need to know which fossil we go for. We got, it has to be the Helix fossil, right? Helix? Are we going for this? Uh, they do poking on like, uh, they have stations. Lord Helix, we're gonna do it. Okay, okay. And before we move on, got the Helix fossil. We got it. 
Um, Alright, then the other fossil is mine. Okay, right, before we move on, I need to... Uh, I need to go to box and name Chansey. I'm not going to pull Chansey into the team just yet, but Chansey will get its time to shine for sure in this playthrough. Um, right, rename, 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 and it's capital. Ah, oh, no, capital S. Uh, S T. It's A A L, and then Trina. I can't believe we, I feel like I've been in Mount Moon for like years. We still got our Team Rocket stuff to um, to go right now. I think they're gonna pop up in one second, aren't they? Did they come yet? Yeah, here we go. Some stop right there. Du -du -du -du. Prepare for trouble. Hands off. That fossil belongs to us. Right. How did you even get there ahead of us? We're Team Rocket. I'm Jesse, and I'm James. Meow. That's right. So there we go. I've tried it. It didn't really work. That's a plus one. How are you doing, my friend? Let me know when you want to have some Let's Go BG battles. That will be cool, man. We will have to arrange that. <laughs> my channel has been exploding because of Let's Go. Yeah, man. I, I was saying before, I haven't actually been watching any Let's Go content because I hadn't started the game and I wanted to try and not spoil myself as much as possible so um i will look forward i see you've been doing like loads of content on it as well so man i've got a lot to catch up on it's gonna be good though but good to hear the channel's doing well mate you deserve it you deserve it you've got a lot of work in coughing and ekins oh this is cool this is so cool and i mean we got ratata but ratata this is the first time what are we gonna go for? we'll go for the coffin let's let's double tap into that slot um, hmm. Bite is a dark type move in this game, which is, I feel like it's kind of wrong. Okay, should we focus energy and then we can go for crits? Because if it's like Gen 1, Gen 1, we'll get crits every time with everything. Just try it. Just try my best to deal. Oh man, I hope it's gone alright, dude. It seems like it is. And Johnny, we have to consider that there aren't save files in Pocket. Uh, yeah, and I think the thing with Pocket is, and um, Flaroki, how are you doing? I'm sorry if I've said your user handle wrong. Um, we're getting absolutely bossed off this, but thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoy the stream with everyone. Um, I think the thing with Pocket in a tournament setting is it's easier because you only have, you don't have. Um, like you do have huge amounts of players but they're all kind of tied to uh, you can kind of use the same console each whereas with I guess um, like Pokemon, VG etc it's gonna like each each person needs their own console um, which makes it a lot more difficult and you need like multiple consoles to be playing at the same time like if you I hope nothing faints here. Um, because you can imagine, like, round one, if there's like 200 players, it's going to be like 100 pairs, pairings, isn't it? So, that's like, well, it's 200 consoles. I don't, that's not feasible to do. So, it's kind of hard to compare it, I think, to um, Pokken. But I don't know how they would do it. Like, I was speaking to Barish about this over in Brazil, and I came up with a crazy idea. It's like, what they could do, which they will never do, is um, release um, a Pokemon like Battle Revolution for the DS. So you play it on the Switch, and then you transfer your your tournament team to PBR on your your DS, and then you take your DS to the tournament. You've got PBR there. It's just a battle simulator that you use. You can still use the 3DS. It's still a relevant console, and then it all works out fine, doesn't it? But I don't know if they'll do that. A twerp beat us. Ah, oh, poor Jesse, poor James. Do they blast off the speed of light? <laughs> Blasting off! They do! Okay, that's cool. We'll, we'll accept that. And I think we're done with Mount Moon. That was a lot of fun. And uh, Pokken has a set number of characters played at one time, the Pokemon. Like, yeah, that's the thing. I think both can check how much Eternal Merriment. <laughs> 
But yeah, PBR for the, the Game Boy could be an option for them to do. I don't know if they would do that though. Feels like it kind of takes all the the kind of limelight away from like moving the, the whole thing over to the Switch. So I, I don't know. Could work. Could work. But maybe they've got a plan. Maybe they've got a plan for how to do it. And we just don't know about it yet. So. But come next January. We may find out like a year's time, I guess. Because Jenna will be November, and I would imagine they'll move. Ooh, Eversource found something. What is it? Is it a raspberry? Nab, Nana berry. Okay, Nana berry. Um, they will probably do it through QR codes or like that. You build your team at home, and you get a code for it, and you can scan it into the tournament and lodge your team. That would be a cool way of doing it. That would be a cool way of doing it. A really good way of doing it. Looks like about 21-ish gig internal memory. Don't have an HD card yet. Almost to Cerulean City. We are there, and we're almost there. I'm like super excited. I think Cerulean was one of, like, it's just one of my favorite cities, for sure. It's always like an accomplishment getting through the, um, if I can catch Squirtle anywhere as well, and I've missed it, tell me, so I can go back and do it. Um, they have these three Pokemon card things that you use for online battles, which could be used for VGC, I guess. That, that could definitely work. There's a tree growing in front of a Pokemon. It's blocking the way to route to the south. I think there's a long way around, though. Huh. I guess we do some like light exploring right now. There's a little Bulbasaur. Let's speak to her. I'm taking care of injured Pokemon here. Bulbasaur is fully recovered, so I'd like to give this Pokemon to a trainer who's caught a lot of Pokemon I can trust. Ha ha. What do you know? The number of Pokemon you've caught so far is 59. Incredible. Would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Heck yeah. Awesome. We get another Bulbasaur. Squirtle is above Nugget Bridge. Excellent. Ah, uh, we get another Bulbasaur, so that is, that is brilliant. Okay. It's Sand tree. I wonder if we get him. Um, uh, we probably can't take all our Pokemon. I mean, I'm kind of tempted just to stay in there and talk to her, and talk to her, and talk to her. What was that? Pika Pika. Okay. Have you heard the legend about the Fountain of Cerulean City? If you throw money into the fountain with your Pokemon, You'll be very close to that Pokemon. Okay, let's do it. The fountain is shooting water out. Do you want to throw money into the fountain? I mean, we'll throw 50, because I feel like throwing 500 is kind of just wasting money at this point. I, it's going to be the same outcome. Unless we get, like, P Pikachu thinks we're like a cheapskate, and it's like, I hate you now. Looks happy, so that's good. There were like 10 Pokemon, right? So they could just put their pairing card on the match slip. This gives 1,000 options. Wow. I guess that could work. You can also get it from Jenny in Vermilion City. I think. Excellent. Hmm. Jenny gives us a Squirtle. Officer, Officer Jenny. We'll heal up our Pokemon while we're here. I've got three Pokemon in Let's Go. Three? Romeo, you just like... Are you just blitzing through it? Are you doing like the old school run through just to get to the Elite Four and finish? I've got to admit, there is part of me that is tempted to dodge lots and lots of this game, but I guess I'm, I'm going to try and, and, and be, be good. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemon fanatic, but with a collection like his, who wouldn't want to brag a little? I think people are just jealous. Probably are. Read some magazines. This is a book called Pokemon Journal Interviews. Will you read it? Yes. Future activities of Pokemon Fanatic Bill. Well, I'm researching about how to become a Pokemon. <laughs> it's just a joke. Don't take it seriously. Actually, I'm doing research on understanding the minds of Pokemon. I want to understand what they are thinking. Okay. Bill. That Bill. Everyone's talking about Bill. Is this guy going to tell us about Bill? 
Your Pikachu looks very promising. I'm pretty sure that Pikachu can learn a marvelous move that I've developed. Do you want me to teach a marvelous move to the Pikachu? Yes. Zippy Zap. Once again, Zippy Zap. It sounds cool. Okay. Um, we'll get rid of Thunder Wave. Because I don't want to drop Thunder Shock in case Zippy Zap's not any good. This guy looks like he might be. Leading us down the garden path. Build a marvelous relationship with your Pokemon, okay? What's this? What's this? I missed stuff. I've missed stuff. She's beaten nearly four with three Pokemon. <laughs> I could totally see Romy doing that as well. There are two types of attacking moves physical moves and special moves. Pokemon with high tech, special tech. Yep, we know all that. Why don't you trade your Pokemon with friends? You can get a lot more variety trading the Pokemon you get trades go too. Uh, so those mechanics are kept. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Is there breeding in this? Oddish is super cool. I should put Oddish back in. Because we are going to Cerulean actually, aren't we? Let's go. Let's throw a mage back in to the mix. Um. Okay, you could do with the points, but at the same time, um, I think Magikarp, we're going to bench you. For this one. Uh, okay. Where are you? Where are you, Oddish? I think it's like one of the first ones. There we go. Uh, to party. There we go. Cool. So we're all ready for the gym. We're going to go into the gym now, I guess. Or do we have to go up to do Nugget Bridge first? Because I, I kind of think that you had to do Nugget Bridge before you came to the gym in the the original, right? Yo, champ in the making! Misty, the gym leader of Cerulean City, is a powerful trainer. You need a Pokemon at least level 15 if you want to challenge her gym. Show me a Pokemon at least level 15 if you want to take on the gym. Hmm. Okay. We've got Pikachu. Pokemon at least 15. In that case, head on in. Good luck. Okay. We're gonna be fine. Sappy Seed. Splishy Splash. Leash Leash. <laughs> What's going on in the chat? I like look away for two minutes. And it's all gone it's all gone crazy. It does crit its evasion thing that's programmed but it doesn't happen. Okay. So let's give Zippy Zap a, a go against this Goldeen. Zippy Zap. What's this do? Okay. Very cool animation. Wow. Did you see the the bar and a critical hit? Does it always crit? I've never seen a bar like go down so quickly. I feel like we cannot lose me and Pikachu. Your party Pokemon is waiting. Okay, you beat Lily. Great. Always crits. That's insane. Always crits. That's so broken. 50 base power, always crits. Plus two priority as well. Damn. Eevee can power burn. Leech seed, refresh, light screen, reflect. What? Eevee can light leech seed. Zippy Zap is breaking, breaking the game. Yeah, it's it's super broken as a priority attack, especially if other things get it outside of Pikachu. I can't be. It must be just like a signature thing for like fan service for this game. Has to be. But Eevee can leech seed. And burn and do all of the other stuff. Did you see that dab just now? Don't think it's deserving of a gold medal. I do think it, yeah, it was great. Gold, 10 out of 10 every time. Eevee and Joey are doing a draft league for this game and banned Eevee from it. Wow, really? Okay, that, like, if, yeah, okay. Eevee must be, like, broken then. Pikachu Star is actually BGC material. The moves are so overpowered. 
the moves like zippy zap is crazy overpowered. Plus two, that's insane. I mean, look how quick these bars are going down in this Pokemon. It's like, I mean, Misty must be like, who is this trainer? Just destroying all my girl gym leaders. Just face wants to learn super fine. Yes, want to learn super fine. Uh, let's get rid of tackle. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let's rewind to like five minutes ago and I was like, I don't want to just get rid of Thundershock. This guy looks like he could be tricking us and he's just given us the most incredible move the Pikachu's ever learned, ever. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy is, for battle, is an all-out offense with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. My sweet Pokemon are ready, are you? Heck yeah. Is there a light ball for starter Pikachu? Man. Misty sent out Psyduck. Okay. I feel like it's, it's kind of taking the fun away a little bit by zippy zapping every time. Maybe we change who leads out for us and we use some other stuff. Imagine someone managed to get a zippy zap Pikachu on Battle Spot top of the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't have items in this game. Uh, yeah, let's switch. Let's bring in the Oddish. Let's bring Midge out. See what Oddish can do. Come on, Pikachu. Let's go back. Starmie. Ah. The majestic Starmie. Ah, this is no good. We've got Absorb. I think we're going to have to sleep out of this thing. Okay, Swift. Hopefully this isn't chaos. Okay, that's good. Oddish takes it, tanks it. Sleep out of hits. Very good. Now we can only absorb. Um, but it's fine. I wonder if it'll be like 10 absorbs or something crazy. Uh, it's gonna be a few absorbs. But Oddish, I feel like Oddish deserves this deserves this match. Worked out the odds. If we would have a hundred matches around with a thousand options to select a card, I assume that they are all likely to be picked. There is a 0.6 chance that no card gets picked. Gets be picked twice. Wow. And absorbs. Oh, 40 base power. Swift again. Here we go. Yeah, we can beat the Starmie. Especially with a crit. Midge knows how to do this. Come on. Let's do it, Psywave. Can we take this? I don't know if we can. Wow, we can. Okay. This auto's just badass. Is that Bluetooth on the Switch? I don't know. I don't know. There's definitely not infrared, I don't think. Although, there is like an infrared thing on the controller. I don't know if that would work in any sort of way. I re I like, I don't know. It looks like that's an infrared thing though there. But I don't know about it. Should learn more about the Switch, really, shouldn't I? So with the current system, you would absolutely need codes printed on Max Slip. Okay. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. And you can surely you just put a different code on each Max Slip too, and then the sun one chooses the same. And Divdax, how are you doing? Congratulations on your new medal. Thank you. How are you doing? And I hope you enjoy the stream with us tonight. And that's an infrared camera. Ah, okay. Hmm, yeah, that wouldn't work then. That wouldn't work. You'd have thought they would have built in, like, an infrared somewhere on the Switch. Since it's on, like, every 3DS as well. It was, like, 99... 0.5% chance you could argue they wouldn't have to. New badge. And yes, the new badge we got. We got the, uh, what is the badge called? It is the, oh, this is so bad. This is so bad that I can't remember what the badges are. So there's the boulder badge, the, hmm. 
Cascade badge. Cascade badge. That's it. There we go. Thanks, guys. Do you guys ever see the um, the original badges that I got from like the, the uh, tournament, like the very first Pokemon World tournament? Do you ever see the Kanto Gym badges I got? I can I can get them down there, like up there on my shelf. If you guys want to see them, I did put them in my like special um, episode that I did for like 1,000 subs on the channel. But I don't know if many of you've seen that. But if you have, then that's cool. But uh, shake the Joy-Con. Nido, how are you doing, my friend? He is in good humor. Can't contain itself. Partner play. So let's give it. Always good job. Good job, Pikachu. Zippy zap, zippy zap. Yeah, very good. Uh, let's give you a berry. There you go. Go on. Uh, do you like these ones? Yep. And what about these, like, pineapple ones? There we go. Greedy, greedy Pikachu. Okay, we've, we've done enough of that. You're missing some, right? Uh, yeah. So you got one every round. Um, I think there was eight complete sets in the UK. Um, and then... Yeah, there would have been eight complete... I don't know how many sets I've got. I so I'm missing the the um is it the oh, what's the one that you get from Blaine? Is it the volcano badge or the the um the flame badge? And then the one that you get the earth badge, I think, is the last one. So I'm missing those two. Kiriaku, how are you doing, Ben? Oh no, your rival. We actually haven't seen our rival in quite some time, so it would be good to uh. To bump into them. I feel like uh, it's probably time. We are heading now to uh, <laughs> view battle. Here he is, look! And like magic, he appears all hot and bothered and going, Yeah! Oh, Osiris, you gotta. You're not gonna believe this. Does that, does that a good interpretation of you, Ben? A p -p 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 Pokemon. It, it, gah. It's like Ben every time I see him. <laughs> I'm only joking, my friend. Sometimes there's an icon on the bottom left on Pikachu shaking the joke card. It means it has something to say. Ah, that's cool. And timing out, though. Yeah. Okay. Touche, my friend. Touche. So, I sent Pidgey out against these. Uh, by the way, the results of these battles in, in this game. Um, can we shake and do something? It is your move. What's this? Pika Pow. Wow. That was cool. That was very cool. Okay. Yeah, these the, the results of this Ben count in our overall uh, lifetime games against each other record, you know, things. I am keeping score. Kirak is about to send out Oddish. Uh, yes, we'll switch Pokemon. We'll bring out good old Charmander. Bring out Johnny. And you're probably lurking in the chat for at least five minutes waiting for this. Legit. <laughs> He's been waiting for this moment to come in. And I haven't played any Let's Go. Ben, you need to play Let's Go. It's like legit. Legit. Amazing. It's been so much fun so far. His Oddish is strong, but we have the hacks on our side. We are using Johnny hacks. Getting the burn. Doing it for the team. And we're going to be able to wipe out this Oddish right now. Pika Powwow is the electrics return. Very powerful. Nice. So I would have been none the wiser. Okay, man. that's fine. Kiriaku is about to send out Eevee. Okay, we have to bring out... Um, who do we bring out? Okay, should we go... Um, let's bring Ivysaur. We haven't used Ivysaur yet, so I think I think we bring Ivysaur. See how this goes. See that Charmander won't ever let you down. Never let us down. Should we keep it as a Charmander forever? And never evolve it into Charizard? It's like super cute as a Charmander. A level 100 Charmander is still strong. 
Okay, let's let's do this. Quick attack. Put it to sleep. And now we can just do we leech seed it to get some health back and then vine whip it. I mean we can really drag this out. For those of you who don't know, Ben got a, a, a brand new toy today. Very excited man about it as well. And um, I'm very happy for him. So I just want to wish Ben a happy new toy day. And I hope you're enjoying it, my friend. Vine whip! Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna be able to beat this Eevee pretty easily. I mean, Kiriaki is not training these Pokemon up as well as we are. Like the, the Eevee is the main Pokemon here, and it's it's weaker than like our whole party, I think. GG Ben, GG. Oh yeah, it makes it sound really wrong. I I kind of yeah. Has he re finally replaced Chardonnay? Yes. Happy new toy day. Yeah, it, the Chardonnay is gone. Threw it away. Okay, let me try that again. Sorry, it's not like me to lose my cool like that. There's a house up ahead where this famous Pokemon fanatic is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by because I thought maybe I'd get to see some rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't freak out when I hear this. That Pokemon fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. Imagine if it's just Meow. Eesh, I think... Just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Don't go in there, Osiris. We'll go. It'll be fine. I want to get this, this item from behind the house. Can we go behind here? I guess we have to go through the house probably, don't we? Skadoodle. Do this guy's house. Not talk to him. <laughs> Better not play Mystery Dungeon. Hear that, Ben? Okay, what is this? Rare candy. Excellent. It's worthwhile. Oh, uh, just look look at the surroundings. It's all so nice. The water looks great. I mean... Like I was saying yesterday, I still... Like, this not a part of this game that I'm just not, like, blown away by with how it looks and just feels and... Even though I can't hear the music right now, I mean, I can, I can imagine, I can imagine. Here we go, Nugget Bridge. People call this Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Heck yeah, we've got like Zippy Zap. We can't be beat. And Chardonnay was definitely a classy lady. But I feel like he's upgraded on 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 the class. Well, so Venonat. Can we get Venonat with Zippy Zap? I mean, we are pretty, pretty strong. What I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to trade Pikachu, put it back. I'm going to leave with something else for a little bit now, because I feel like it's just it's, it's kind of making it. I mean, it's making it quite fast-paced, which is good, but it, I feel like it's getting a little bit dull playing just with, with Pikachu every time. So, can we lead with something... Um, move. What do we want to lead with? Um, let's go Johnny. I like Charmander a lot. I'm second. Now it's serious. Serious. Yeah, I'm sorry. The chat just got lost there. Um, we'll move back to Pokemon. So we change up to a fire type and we straight away run into a water type. Class. Classic RNG hacks. But we can we can still do this. Okay, come on, Charmander, don't. Okay. We can definitely out damage this Psyduck. We just need one more scratch up the Okay, scratch. Okay, water uh, uh can we get it? We're gonna risk it. Come on. Do it, do it, yes. Okay, there we go. You see, Johnny, you were right all along. Critical hit, just making sure. Chamana didn't want to faint. I feel like we need to heal it up now. It deserves some, some potion magic. 
Are you very far in? No, not really, my friend. We are, we've with two gyms in now. Uh, we've just beat Misty, um, and we're going up to visit a strange guy called Bill. Um, so we're not too far in at all. But um, as I was saying to the guys earlier, uh, we did a stream last night. Uh, we'll probably have a break tomorrow night, but we'll continue on Thursday. Um, and then we'll just continue as many days as I can fit in doing this until we complete it and then we'll probably do extra stuff um, like the the post game things and probably some shiny hunting for the first time as well because shinies are just a lot of fun to to get in this game um, but yeah really enjoying it my friend I think I would definitely recommend a hundred percent like you need to buy a switch anyway because the switch is just uh, like a great console but I just think for any like anyone just wanting to just have a lot of fun playing Pokemon um, and take away that competitive side of it for a change because I think sometimes the competitive side of Pokemon kind of maybe spoils the, the, the game like in general because I think like the last games that we had uh, especially for us competitive players we got Sun and Moon there was London Internats like two weeks later, so you, you didn't really have much time to enjoy the game. You kind of rushed through it and it almost it kind of spoiled it in a way. So it's like it's so refreshing having a game right now where we're not, we're not like there's no worries about like rushing through it. There's no worries about oh, what's going to be the best Pokemon and like learning all about it. You kind of like casually just learning about it, just enjoying it and taking it in. And it's like, First time I've had that with a Pokemon game in a very long time, and it's it's just super nice. So, I would recommend for you and everyone else that hasn't played this already that like to get it. It's cool. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and like it's nice going back to Kanto as well. Um, and Ethan, I've never actually played Gemon. Well, Ethan, my friend, this is the this is the game. You need to revisit Kanto here, because like yeah. It's a cool place. Can't believe you've never been to Kanto. It's crazy when I found that out. But it's cool in a way. It's cool because it's like Pokemon's come so far and like, like, it's not in a short amount of time either. It's quite a long period of time it's been around and it's still super good and it's, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have this like new generation of players coming through that have never like experienced Kanto and now you can go back and experience it in like full. HD graphics, which is just incredible. Come on, Johnny, you need to beat this Growlithe. And yeah, it can spoil it for sure, but equally, there's not much on the Switch that I really want to play, which is sad, because it's a cool console. What about... What about Mario Kart? Mario Kart's amazing. What about Zelda Breath of the Wild? I don't know if you like those sort of games. But if not, you got Mario Odyssey. Um, is Bayonetta out yet? You got Smash Brothers as well. Smash Brothers is just incredible. That comes out later this month. And Drake and Dude, how are you doing? Thanks for joining the stream tonight. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I haven't played Gen 1 since I was basically too young to really understand how to play Pokemon, so this game was super fun. That's amazing to hear. And like I totally like relate to that. Like I I, I actually I bought the the remakes when they came out on the eShop. But I never actually had time to play them, so I haven't like fully revisited it properly in like years. So like this is like this is super nice going back. This is almost thirty percent off right now. Got it earlier. That is a great deal. That is an amazing deal. Um, anything. I don't have a switch, but should be getting one in Orpington. Hey hey, there we go. You will, mate. You will. And that's a coincidence right there. <laughs> Oh, we need to heal. We need to heal. Um, I think we actually switch out. We can't let we can't let Charmander go down like this. Here comes Pikachu bite. Okay. I forget as well. There's like no abilities either. Ah, uh, the days when Pokemon was such a simpler game. No abilities. No held items. There's no special split either in Gen 1, you guys. So there was like attack, defense, special, and speed, wasn't it? I think. 
Like there was no special attack and special defense. And like the mechanics worked so different as well back then. So it's super weird seeing Gen 1 look good. I know, right? And it looks like it is actually amazing. Johnny, don't let me be the first one you left in. No, Johnny, we won. I'm kind of determined to go through this whole game without having one Pokemon faint. It would be kind of nice. I know we're going to Pokemon Center, so we're kind of uh, cheating a little bit, but um, in in battles, sometimes it can't be helped. But if we could do that, that would be really good. Barrier Mewtwo raising the special stat two stages. Amnesia Mewtwo as well. Like back then, Amnesia Mewtwo was like like what everyone ran. Like Amnesia, Double Team, um, Psychic, and Blizzard, um, and Recover. With your skills, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. You shouldn't let a chance like this pass you by. Legit, I would join Team Rocket right now if I could. Like, it sounds bad, but I mean, it'd be such a cool way to play out the rest of the game. Am I... <laughs> Everyone's like, I can't believe you just said that. But it would be fun, it would be fun. I saw your feet from the grass. And, like, even if we're not the bad guys, we could kind of... We could be the, the sleeper agent that goes in and dismantles Team Rocket from the inside. Uh, you're challenged by Camper Shane. Camper Shane's gonna send out a speed roll. Um, it's still bro- yeah, it's still, still broken. It's a mischance they had let... You join TR, yeah. I know. Um. Mm kind of worried that the Charmander is going to go down. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want Johnny to faint, so we're going to just switch out again. And yeah, Amnesia was so broken. There was a, a variant of Slow Brawl called Toby Brawl, which was its coined name, um, which was incredibly strong. It had Rest, uh, Amnesia, Thunder Wave, and Surf. Um, and yeah, you just amnesia up, and then you rest off, T wave your opponent, and just spam surf. If you got like three amnesias, if I mean like, you you'd win. Like critical hits obviously hurt a lot more back then, so uh, that could happen. But it was fun. I'd love to be able to like get my 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 N sixty four from my parents and set up stadium one night on stream. It would be so good. Um, I've still got my original red cart. I wonder if the battery is actually like the internal battery in the cartridge is still good. I haven't played in about probably over ten years, but it's still at my parents. Next time I'm there, Venonat. Anyone want a bagsy Venonat? Was this back in 2010? Have you seen the PBR video on YouTube? Um, no, this is like, this is way earlier than that, 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 oh, we can't do it. I hit it when they go like on an angle and then you throw it at an angle and then they just, there we go. Um, no, so the, the Toby Bro was like uh, red, blue and yellow days. So it was like um, on Pokemon Stadium. Um, and then you had the, the Molly Nut, Chansey was it? Molina, I think they called it, with Minimize, Seismic Toss, Soft Boil, T-Wave, I think, was the set. You can kind Ah, oh, here we go! It's time Johnny is going to evolve into Charmeleon. The best evolution in all the start of Pokemon. Maybe biased here, but look at that thing. Look at it! It looks so cool! Ah, oh, it looks so good. Charmeleon. Yeah, like 2000s, yeah. If you want to change Squirtle, oh, okay. Um, you sure want to be using all the great balls. This is very true. Um, 2010 was the explosion was amazing, but most of the rest is the same. Um, right. If I want to change Squirtle, Stall Trainer, I, I think I missed something. You can get Team Rocket Outfit. Oh, that's amazing. So. I can chain Squirtle here, can I? I can chain for Squirtles. What's this? It's an Oddish. What's going to be the most popular thing around here? Is it going to be an Oddish? This is a Venonat. Okay, we'll combo up with Venonat. Yeah, Explosion was like super broken. 
And it halved your opponent's defense as well. But Ben maybe has already mentioned that. Explosion was crazy. Cra a crazy move. A crazy move. And there's no wide guard back then. Yeah. Yeah, no team preview either. No wide guard. Yeah. It was just uh, so broken. So broken. So that's why stuff like... Um, no, Pidgey. You're going to break our chain. So cute. How it jumps to the side. Kind of wish they did that in Pokemon Go. I know, right? It would be so good if they did that. Okay. I regret running from a Pidgey, but I'm going to do it. Yeah. Until Gen 4. Explosion and self-destruct of positive defenses. Which is, yeah. Which is just insane. And... Be warned that these rare spawns can take a long time to chain. Took me over an hour to get an attention of Charmander in front of Matt Moon. Okay, we be we were pretty lucky. We got a ten chain yesterday, and Charmander instantly popped up. Ah, yeah, and we don't want to be wasting our great balls. This is the the other thing because we haven't got like. Okay, this is not. What's this banana doing? I can't. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, right, going to dinner. Enjoy dinner, Nigel, my friend. I hope it's something tasty. It normally is. I look forward to hearing about it when you get back. No! Should we give it a raspberry? Ah! Okay, we only had a combo of two. Maybe we pick something a bit bit more popular but I feel like Venonats are like everywhere so anyway I've got to get off a bit happy let's going and I expect I'll beat you next time the rival shows see you later my friend have a good evening enjoy whatever you're up to my friend and I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you later dude thanks for dropping by as well okay are we gonna chain for Squirtle I feel like we should I feel like it would be the, the right thing to do Just don't chain for that. Probably it's jumping around a lot. The, yeah, this is very true. I guess we can chain like in other places, can't we? We don't need to chain right here, like with Venonat. We can chain in other grass areas, certain Pokemon, and then come back here. Does that can that work? And chaining, uh, Ethan. So I think for. Um, Oh, we can get a Charmander as well. So yeah, we can get for um Yes, we'll take it. Ticket, 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 ticket. Um for shinies later in the game when you got the shiny charm and stuff. If you get over like 31 or 32 or 36 or something, some random number like that, um then it makes your chances of getting a shiny a lot better. But in certain areas of grass, as I believe, if you chain up to like 10 of the same Pokemon, like combo them up so it's catching the same Pokemon um, over and over again without breaking the chain, then it increases the likelihood of the rarer Pokemon in that area like popping up. And your eyes already um, explained that for us, so, which is amazing. Anyway, yes, Lee, you can chain everywhere. Excellent. Dragon Dude, that works. Excellent. Lou, how are you doing? How are you? Just to see how I'm doing. You're doing really well. You got a new, you got a new, uh, you got a new move tonight, which is just incredible. You're doing super well. You've got your little gym gear on, your hat, your little jacket, matching jacket to your trainer. It's all going well, and uh, we've just beat our uh, our rival Kiriaku again, which you've just missed, but it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we've got a Charmeleon, Ivy Soul. We're, on, we're now on to trying to get some Squirtle action. Yeah, we've reached Broken stage. Um, there's another Oddish. Be very proud. Pika Pika is doing, Lulu the Pikachu is doing amazingly well. It's an excellent throw. I'm glad you dressed me snazzy. We're gonna, we're gonna totally style it out when we can. Okay. But we're on our way to see Bill now. Kiriaki got creeped out by Bill. So there's a token Pokemon there. I think he's overreacting slightly. And still learn Psybeam, heck yeah. I always remember getting to this point and thinking, okay, Butterfree, when it gets Psybeam, it's so strong. When I was like super young, 
Like, I was like, yes, it's like the most powerful Pokemon ever now. It's got Psybeam, it can do all this stuff. But at the time, it was like, like, most stuff was, like, either poison type in a, the early game. So it made it, like, super easy to do super effective damage and stuff like that. But Butterfree was never the most strongest, which saddened me quite a lot. Hiker Franklin. The hikers look so friendly now. Just jolly. Ah, okay. Charmeleon, this might be this might be difficult. Um Hmm. Yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll switch it up. We'll give um Let's give Mitch a run out and switch in. Yeah, Abra was always really hard. You could always get it around um, this part of the game, actually, but it would always teleport, so it was, like, super difficult to get. You'd get, like, one chance to get it um, before you got, like, if you... And, like, later on, obviously, there was the the, um, the slot machines where you could, you could buy an Abra, which was a lot better. But Alakazam... Alakazam is so strong. Do you still need to trade in this to, like, evolve Pokémon? as well, like Graveler and, and Haunter and things like that to get the, the third evolution line. That'd be kind of cool. But it'd be sad if they took that away. I always liked those like little aspects of the game. And man, I kept Butterfree the whole run in this game. It's so one Pokemon that gets Quiver Dance in Let's Go, which is amazing. It gets Quiver Dance! Oh, amazing. That is cool. That is very cool. I did say that Butterfree was going to be... It was going to come to the Elite Four with us. It's going to be a Elite Four buddy. 100% and yes excellent that's cool something I really appreciate is they did accurate sizes really that that is cool let's see this diglet how big is it okay the cool thing in um, <clears throat> talking about accurate sizes Johnny in Brazil so they the um, all the the, um, the backdrops and, and Pokemon artwork that they had around the venue they were um, all to actual size of what the Pokemon were as well, so they like perspective-wise they were the right size, which was crazy to see. Um, Arcanine was a lot smaller than I thought it was. Garchomp was smaller than what I thought it was. Xerneas was like way bigger than what I thought it would ever be, but it was cool to see them like life size, what they'd be be like in real life if they were real. You know, it's cool though. It's cool that they do that and like kind of. Have that and if they've done it in these games it is very cool and I guess like looking at Pikachu it looks kind of good size doesn't it and like Charmeleon looks kind of beefy as well so yeah it's cool that they've done that Pidgeotto okay Charmeleon we can do this we don't get flamethrower to like forever do we it's like level 30 something I think um, if you if you get an Abra Lee, you can trade it once you get Kadabra. That would be very cool. Yeah, it was so cool. I've got some pictures, so I actually haven't posted them yet. But I'll pop them up on um, I'll pop them up on the on my Twitter at some point, um, so you guys can have a look at them because they're very cool. Like the Garchomp pick is very cool. Um, oh my God, has it got quick attack? It's got quick attack. It's gonna totally get us with quick attack. Um, let's bring in Pikachu. Save the day. Imagine a lot of executor, yeah. <laughs> that would be insane. Like Ethan was there. You like did you I don't know if you realised, but yeah, all of the all the Pokemon were like all the lives like all perspectively life size, which was very cool. Um like the Duskmen, the Cosma and the Dawn Wings, I think they were on the back the backdrop as well. They were they were like to actual size. If you're taller than 1.7 meters, you're taller than Charizard. Wow. That's kind of yeah. But how tall is that in feet? Like in yeah. I'm really bad at converting. Oh, Johnny, we're gonna. We're, I think I'm gonna swap you back. Put you back. It feels like it's a hard place to uh, to to utilize the Charmeleon. 
every time. Uh, move. Um, let's go. Let's go, Ivy Saw. <laughs> Dad took me to a great party being held on the SS Island for Million Port. It was fun. And Dustman is a big lad. There's no fear any tiny incineroars. That's so true. So true. It's like psh, brushing them off. It would have been cool if they'd had an incineroar there as well. I don't think they had an incineroar kind of backdrop. That would have been awesome to see how big it actually was. Um, okay, we do the change and then we get set up in front of a, a Neckins. Excellent. 5-5. Five, five. Wow. Charizard is tiny. Imperialistic. Yeah, hipster. Hipster, hipster measurements. Um, I can't believe Charizard. So, like, I'm taller than Charizard. That makes me super sad. Like, how would you even... How would that you ride around on its back? I feel kind of cruel. Like, Charizard, fly me halfway across the world. I know I'm bigger than you, but it's fine. You're a Pokemon. <laughs> Charizard should be way bigger. It should be like double the size of that. I think like Dragonite is surprisingly small as well. I can avoid it. No, we're gonna get wrapped. We are about to redefine kilogram, right? Ah, we just did. Okay. Meter. It's on Mega Garrett in this game in a competitive battle. It's legit massive. Mega Gyarados. I wanna, like, yeah, that is cool. That's cool that they've done it in this game so you can actually get the perspective of, like, how big they actually are, like, relative to the trainers. And rap actually continues. It'd be cool if rap kind of stopped when um, when the Pokemon was sleeping, but I guess not. Anyone have a monkey? I've probably got a monkey. I can trade you. I caught some monkey yesterday. We had the best time. We <laughs> literally had the best time when the monkey kind of ran out of the grass, and I did this crazy little like monkey do the monkey. <laughs> I uh, ran after it. It felt like a. It felt like it was almost part of the the, the in-game kind of story, but it actually turned out it wasn't, and it was just the monkey running away. But yeah, sure, I can be smart. I can totally trade you a monkey if you if you need one. Um, I have a bunch. Uh, we'll we'll switch. Yeah, let's. I feel like to speed things up, we might put Pikachu back at the start. It's got a lot of Sparrow as well. Though. One of those, yeah. Got loads of Spiro. Okay. And then you can trade it. Okay, cool. We can do it. Um But if you want one right now, then your your own has one, so you can you can do that if you want one right now. because uh, I don't know if I can trade right now. Can I trade right now? Or do I need to put in like friend cards and stuff like that? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm so new to all of this. That kid's so mad. He's so mad. Right, let's put Pikachu at the start. We need to start speeding things up. I thought we'd be like way further along than this. But I mean, we're enjoying it, it's good. We've beat Misty, we've done Nugget Bridge, and now we're going up against some dude that's gonna have a lot of ground type, and we just put Pikachu to the start. Ah. Uh, what should I hunt for next? Me too, I kind of feel Porygon. I say it, me too, I'm with Will. <laughs> Um, shiny hunt next. Hmm. Okay, what's a cool shiny in Gen 1? Like Charizard would be good, so Charmander would be a lot of fun. Um, let's think. Let's think. What would be cool? Like, Nidorino is very cool, because Blue Nidder King is very cool. Um, hmm. Can you get shiny? Can you get the shiny birds and that? That's kind of cool. Porygon's very cool shiny to get. Yeah, I do like that. Um, let's think. What else? 
Oh, Thunderbolt. Excellent. Okay. Not that we need it. Alright, All right, so you've got the Charizard. What's got in the arena? Um, let's think, let's think, let's think. What could be good that you can catch? Alakazam, you can't really tell that it's shiny. Um, hmm. Pikachu's kind of like subtle as well. <sighs> Scyther might be cool, but I imagine that's probably quite difficult to do. Well, that could be quite a cool one. But again, quite subtle, I think, with its shiny shininess. Beast mode, could someone trade me a monkey, please? Okay, if you tell me how I can trade, can it, is it communicate? Play with others? Beast mode, what is your far away player on the internet? You will now connect to the internet. Your game will be saved, is that okay? Yes. I hope this doesn't break our combo, but it might not. Um, link trade, this is what we want. Beast mode, I need, I need some info for you, I think. So, why can't... Please enter the same link code as the other player to connect with them. So what are we entering? I guess these are the link codes, so... Um, let's go Jigglypuff, Radita, Jigglypuff. Ah! Oh. Pidgey, Caterpie, Eevee. Pidgey, Caterpie... Eevee. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I'm just making it up and he's like, no, 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 P Pidgey. Pidgey gotta be Eevee. Shiny Beedrill. That's a great shout, Drake and Dude. That's what you should go for. And Shiny Order is just super nice as well. You don't need to be on each other's friend list. First. Yeah, I would think that. Maybe. Yeah, Lee, this is what I was saying for a way you could connect consoles at events. Ah, okay. Yeah, that could work. We probably do need to be on our, like, friend code list, I would imagine. Don't know. This might work. This might not. And Red Gyarados is very, very cool. It's probably one of the best shinies in Gen 1. Searching for a player to trade. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Uh, I don't know if we can do this, can we? Feels like it's just not going to work. Hmm. Ah. And I don't think we can come. Ah, uh, we can come out of it. Yeah. So let's try this again. Let's try this again. Pidgey, Caterpie, Eevee. Hmm, I don't know why it didn't work. I think maybe we need to be on like, maybe friend. I don't know if we need to be friend cards. Feels like battle spot where it does thing, where it doesn't find anyone, yeah. I'll search again, try again, and we can try this again. Yeah, weird that it didn't work. Okay, we'll keep trying. Hopefully it should. This is a good this is a good tutorial as well. So we all know how to how the trade system works with crazy um, Pokemon icons. And this music is so classy. I wish I could hear it, Johnny, honestly. <laughs> the only way I can have it so the audio doesn't glitch out and lag is by not Oh player has been found. Hurrah! Yeah, the only way I can listen to the music. Wow, look at these Pokemon this guy's got. I've just seen Dragonite. Offer as a trade. Anything. Anything as well, man. Don't feel like you need to give me anything special. I just love this art. Oh, that's not you. Okay. Someone, someone's stitching this up. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Your trading partner just cancel the trade for the land. Okay. Controlled. Let's try once again. Let's go back in. Far away. Level 100 Blastoise, I know. Imagine if I got that there. So, Pidgey. Caterpie. Eevee. Let's try again. Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu as a code. So, a player has been found. Beast mode. One, two, three. I'm hoping this is you. Level 68 Eevee. Just, yeah, trade that right over. I'm going to wait, because this should be... Okay, we're going to trade it. I've got a few... Okay, this is this is this you, man? I'm hoping it's you. Attention, if a communication error occurs or your system gets turned off while you are trading Pokemon, you won't be able to do something. Bye, Mikey. It's a shiny Pidgey! Oh, wow. Thank you so much, mate. It's up there, shiny. And let's go. Oh, look, it looks so good. Thank you so much, man. That is super nice of you. You didn't need to send me a shiny, but that is amazing. Thank you so much. Look at how good it looks. I'm going to cherish this shiny for the rest of my Let's Go days. And you're welcome, my friend. It goes to every single one of you as well. If you're on here and you need something now, I've got it, and you want to trade, or you just want to trade to evolve something when I'm playing, through these... these um, through the Let's Go playthrough, then just give me a shout. Can someone help me with Shiny Golem? Oh, yes. Yeah, sure, man. Just let me know. Let me know, and we can do it. The Ninja Guesty. How are you doing? Thank you for joining the stream tonight. I hope you enjoy it with the rest of us. We are just on our way to see Bill. So we've heard some rumours that he's... Um, it's not Bill, it's a, po it's a token Pokemon. You also have a Growlithe. I don't have a Growlithe. I don't think I have a Growlithe. I can check. I can check. Don't think he has as yet. Yeah. But Yuri, Yuri does. So that's good. How do you get Melton in the game? I have no idea how to get Melton, but I really want to get it. I think you've got to complete the Pokedex. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I think you have to... Like, I hope that's not where you kind of have to get a... Oh, we haven't done it right. I don't think you can get around this Picnicker to get the ball. No. You have to get it in goal. Okay. I thought it was mini metal thing. And then you transferred it alright. The only way to get Melton is through Pokemon Go. Ah. Oh. Okay. How do you get it in Pokemon Go? Is it like really difficult to find? I know it was like everywhere. For the, those few days. And everyone thought it was a glitch, but it wasn't. And I didn't actually catch it when it was about, I don't think. Which I'm kind of sad about now. And how will you want to help me with a couple of trade Pokemon I have? Kadabra and Graveler just need to trade and back. I can totally do that. Oh, I can't get round. I, did, I, oh, I didn't do it right. Didn't do it right. I can totally help. I'm going to get to Bill first and just finish this little bit because it feels like we've been on this area for ages and then I can totally do some trading and the only way to get Mel 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 Metal is to use 400 candies to evolve Mel Tin and go wow okay Lady Pikachu Eevee Caterpie okay cool I'll come I'll, I'll do this trainer and then I'll come and we'll do the trading. And I'll keep your I'll keep your shiny golem. I'm joking. <laughs> that would just be so mean. That would be so mean. And then they will spawn what is this? They will spawn Ah, you can complete the mythical research to get melting. Uh, or you can get it by transferring 
Pokemon to let's go and then use the box to get 10 every week. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. So there is ways we, you can do it, it just takes a little bit of work. But it's kind of worth it, I guess, as well. Imagine if it's the only way to ever obtain it. It'd be kind of cool, it'd be so exclusive. Adam, how are you? I'm good, my friend. Thank you for joining us tonight. You are playing a bit of Let's Go. It's been a lot of fun so far, so I hope you enjoy the rest of the stream with us tonight. Right, okay guys, I hope you don't mind. Give me two seconds, I'm just gonna do um, Stall Trainer. I'm gonna help him out evolve his shiny Graveler. So, Pikachu Eevee Caterpie is gonna be our combination. And it's super quick as well, so it's, it's really quick. When it's not glitching up, we can do this like really quick. So, I like how accessible this is as well. Um, it's like literally a click of a button. There's no going into a plaza or anything like that. And it's just, um, what was it? Eevee, Caterpie, Pikachu, I think. Um, Pikachu, Eevee, Caterpie. Pikachu, Eevee, Caterpie. Nice and easy. Um, so, I'm going on now. And Adam, congratulations as well, my friend. I know you didn't get the gold, but you did super well. Um, at your event last weekend and we are all proud of you for doing super well and um, so I hope you had a good time as well my mate and uh, it all went well and uh, you had a great time and yeah Zippy's app is so broken uh, Drake and Doogie um, okay next video title is Cyrus Scam's Kid <laughs> Shiny Graveler <laughs> you have to get a ton of rare candies from raids and you can use those oh that's kind of cool um, right um, I'm just going to trade anything over, so it'll just be a level 4. This is you, right? I'm going to wait till I see that. Because that. this might not be... There it is. I saw Graveler. Wow, Mewtwo. Nice. Nice. I can offer Mewtwo. This can't, this can't happen. I feel like I'm totally jipping someone out of a Mewtwo. It doesn't feel right. They're going to cancel, right? I can cancel? Should I cancel? I feel like I should cancel. I feel like they're going to cancel. There's the Graveler. That's better. <sighs> yeah, love that. Huh? Why can't I trade that? Okay, let me trade this. Offer as a trade. I will claim European title one day. Be the same for the world. I hope you do, man. I kind of got panicky there. I thought I was going to get a Mewtwo for a Pikachu. Bye bye, Metapod. Imagine getting 25 Mel Metal for the Gold Park. Wow. And that's good, Adam. Look at that Graveler. It looks so nice. So nice. Shiny. I feel like the Shinies look so much better in this game as well. going to evolve here we go live on stream for you my friend and then we will trade it right back it's gonna be a super nice shiny golem ah looks so good the trades are nice aren't they They're so nice right let's trade back um, hopefully we're still in trade mode with with each other. Yes, we are. Okay, cool. What will we get in return? A canopy. Yeah, Adam, you did amazing. Just keep working. You'll get to where you want eventually. Lisa, scams, get out a shiny golem. <laughs> That's totally what the clickbait should be. You should totally clickbait the videos. And get like hate mail and things like that, then. Might not be good. If you get 25 mel metal, you become a Pokemon Go God who exists on a plane of existence from Mortal Beans. You are very welcome, my friend. You're very welcome. Right. On to Bills. Let's go find out what's been going on as a fisherman. Is he gonna give us a rod? You're gonna see Bill first. We battle. Okay. 
We'll never get to bills. It's gonna take ages. I spent seven weeks training for it. Wow. That's good, man. Okay, magic hop. This is gonna be a quick one, guys. Let's totally zippy zap this thing. Krabby. Keep battling. I also love Krabby as well. I think from the original, like the first series anime, I like the Ash is Krabby and then he's badass Kingler. That I always wanted them to bring back in later series, but they never did. But King Knight was always so good. So good. I really enjoyed it. It was amazing. Um, and Be Smart, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. It is so appreciated. And uh, I hope you can continue to come back and enjoy the streams with us all. You're running low on Zip Zap PP. Thank you, Ethan. Hopefully, we don't have too many more battles to go where we. Uh... Okay, there's one of those trainer dudes. I don't think we've got any PPs. Uh, PP ups or. E Alexas or anything like that, or Ethers, or whatever they are. So we'll have to be super careful. This is Bill's lab. Oh man, looks so good. Looks so good. It's like a little pink Pokemon in the corner here. What is it? Is that like a Nidorina? Nidorino. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. <laughs> no, I mean... I'm Bill, call me Bill, a true blue Pokemon fanatic. And who's this? And the Ninja Questy, thank you so much for the follow as well, my friend. And uh, again, I hope you enjoy the streams with us and uh, you can come back and continue enjoying them with us all. This is so weird. I'm a true blue Pokemon fanatic. Hey, that's what this skeptical look. I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So, how about it? Help me out here. Sure. We'll do it. I'm gonna climb inside the teleporter so you run the cell separation system for me. You can do it from the PC over there. You're gonna do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging. I'm counting on you, pal. Okay. Let's let's just get out of here. I'm joking, I'm joking. Let's go <laughs> let's go and do this. Uh, the screen says something about and getting him in there, and there we go. We just got a sub on YouTube as well, so thank you to whoever that was. Whoa, I should get in there, don't mess this up. Okay, right. Uh, you start the cell separation system on the teleporter. I feel like I want to name every Needle King from now on Bill. Uh, it just feels quite fitting to this. Pay attention to the Joy Con shaking after this scene. Okay, cool. Hey, Pokemon can tell them they're capable of doing things in arena and it lacks the vocal cord. I know, right? Hey, Bill! <laughs> no, there's Bill. There's Bill. Hey, Bill. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. Hey, you've got your own Pokemon box right there in your bag. Good job. If you ever catch too many Pokemon, your box gets full. Send some of those Pokemon to Professor Oak. I bet he'd be mighty thankful. Oh, look at me. I forgot my own head if it weren't attached. I should do something to thank you too. You did save me after all. Here, yeah, maybe this will do. Got some tickets to the SS Anne. So oh, excellent. Thank you, Bill. A cruise ship, the SS Anne, pulls into port in Vermilion City. They invited me to some party on board, but I can't stand fancy gatherings. Why don't you go instead of me? There are a couple of tickets in there, so have some fun with a friend or something. Great stuff. That is amazing. So, let's see. We've been told to keep an eye on. <laughs> Pikachu. Completely surprised that Bill emerged from the smoke. Ah, uh, good old Pikachu. So scared and surprised, dancing, and yeah, never get that. Never gets old. Never get old. So odd. It, yeah, it looks so odd standing up, right? But now we're off to the SSR, which is amazing. Um, there is one of these trainer Pokemon people. We're gonna. This area is popular for dates. I'm 
proudly. Independent coach trainer at a date spot. I'll let you know I'm pretty strong. Want to battle? Yes, let's do it. I feel like we have to battle all these. There has to be something that you get at the end for battling all the coach trainers. I don't know if there is or not. Could just be getting uh, misled about it all, but I feel like there is some sort of some something that we get at the end of it. Maybe, hopefully, there is. The animation for Thunderbolt is so cool as well. And Seismic Toss! Ah, it's as good as ever. Um, it's a quick attack. Cool. I am one who was coached. Yes, you were. But enjoy hanging out. Phew, I haven't had fun like that in a long time. Here, take this. Seismic Toss! Excellent! So we do get goodies. That's great. Okay, so let's head back to Cerulean City. And then we're gonna go to Vermilion City. Which has a great track, a great Pokemon track. If you guys haven't heard it, it's like I'm on the road to become the greatest trainer. Never, really bad singing, really bad singing, terrible. But at the same time, um, it's it's a cool. Uh, I can't believe I just did that as well. But it's a cool track. It's a cool track. It's about on the road to Viridian City, and it should be playing right now. I I'm gonna imagine it is playing right now because I can't hear anything. So, in my head, that is what's happening. But yeah, um. Just ignore that I actually sung there. Oh, I just realized you didn't have your sound on for Bill scene. You should watch it back with the sound later. Hearing you singing with that British accent is priceless. Yeah, terrible and priceless. And we didn't even get a squirrel either. Hey, give me back my Pokeball. <sighs> is this the moment? Is this the moment that Jenny... Oh, how could it do such a thing? I need to keep an eye on this house. Get back here. Okay, let's go after Jenny. Uh, or do we keep an eye on the house and Jenny appreciates that we keep an eye on the house? Uh, nah, let's go after Jenny. Jenny from the block. Where's she gone? The squirrels definitely run out here. I, 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 would, I would guess, I would guess, I would feel like it does, but it's probably not. Nah, it's definitely not, is it? Nah, it's definitely not. Lapras. Lapras is the superior general in water. I'm sorry, I'm able to trade my Kadabra Grabber. Yeah, sure, man. Uh, I will just run from this and we can do that right now. Give me your... Um... Okay. Uh, cool. Let's do this trade quick. Uh, what combination? I'll, I'll, I'll make a combination up. Let's do some in trade. Um, okay, let's go. Charmander, Charmander, Squirtle. That sounds like a good one. And then we can trade. So you want Kadabra and Graveler. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. Gives me a chance to catch up on the chat as well. But yeah, we totally got um, sidetracked and went the wrong way. Jenny went some completely different way, didn't it? Hmm. Mm. I haven't got my usual Lee mug tonight. I've got a my um my Game of Thrones mug. Got a little bit destroyed. I put it in the dishwasher by accident, and it kind of ruined it a little bit. It made me a little bit sad, but it's still good. It's still you can still make out Westeros and all the other stuff. It's kind of nice. Can't wait for. For next season, it's not long now. We've not got long to wait. So, season eight is going to be amazing. For those of you out there that do watch Game of Thrones, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it is a very. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Um, it is very good. I didn't like Game of Thrones. I found it particularly boring. Really, Johnny? How many seasons have you seen? Like, how far did you watch into it? Oh, we're not going to find each other. Okay. Let's try again with this. Um, okay. Let's try again. 
play far, far away. Dun, 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 dun. We'll do the same Charmander, Charmander Squirrel code again. I saw all first season and drop in heart, second heart. Uh, okay, I feel like you need to kind of continue on with it. Like, pursue it a little bit more. Because I think, yeah, I can see why you would probably get a bit bored of it. Of like season one and like early season two. You need to, yeah, you totally need to just pursue it. I hope this is, um, I'm having concession. Hold on, okay. Is this, I feel like this is, uh, we can offer a Caterpie as a trade. Yeah, I don't, I think it's the same guy that we bumped into earlier. <laughs> that we nearly got some really good stuff from, but, um, no. Okay. Uh, if you're trading anywhere, want to trade an Oddish for a Bellstrap with me after. Sure, man. We'll do it now. Let's do it now. Um, and, uh, the Ninja Guesty, you can, uh, just, let's go Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Jigglypuff. Let's do that. I think I've watched like one episode of Game of Thrones. It wasn't bad, but I'm too busy watching 10 animes at the same time while I'm not finishing one of them. I know that feeling. It's so difficult to watch. Like there's so much good like series like out there now. It's just so difficult to find time to like watch everything. I think it makes it easier for me because with like Tash, when Game of Thrones is on, it always feels like um, that is the one thing that we'll sit down and like watch like specifically every week. Like other than that, I never really, um, I never really have much time to actually watch any anything. Um, so I have like, I've got like anime series that I really love and, and other series that I like really love. But it's like it's hard making time to to, to catch them. And uh, then when new stuff comes along, it's like, oh man, how am I gonna squeeze this in as well? So yeah, but eventually. There will be a time when hopefully you catch up with everything and you can get around to watching everything. So, But I do know the feeling there. Um, but Johnny, I would strongly recommend, because like, you like Lord of the Rings, right? Um, I really think you would probably, you would enjoy Game of Thrones. I, I think you just need to, to stick with it. Um, and Ninja Guesty. We, uh, we will come on. Thank you, Midge. That was amazing. Okay, let's go for a new code. Ninja Guesty, and we can go for um go for Radita, Radita, Squiddle. And now it should work, hopefully. And we can trade that Graveler and the Kadabra. Peace off. And thanks for the Bell Sprout man. Bell Sprout's a cool Pokemon as well. Very cool. Well, I don't know if there was an online system that could make Vessel Plaza look good. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> nah. I definitely don't. Definitely agree with you, Will. Uh, almost everyone said I should continue, but I feel if a series doesn't catch me in the first season, it's my cup of tea. No, that's a fair point. That is fair. And, like, that's, like, that's generally a good, a good kind of, um way to look at things as well. Offer is trained. There we go. Excellent. Trade Pokemon. Kadabra. I like doing this. We get to see all these nice evolutions as well that we might not see otherwise for a, a little while. So it's kind of cool that we can do this. Do do do. And I wonder if we can do Surge tonight. Do we have to do the SSM before we battle Lieutenant Surge? Hmm. Trying to think if we have to do SSM. Probably have to do SSM first, I'm guessing. Jafar. Okay, here we go. It's going to evolve. Uh, okay, so yeah, we do. We need cut. Of course we do. Thanks, guys. Cut. I forget that you get it off the guy. The, like, the captain. 
captain of the ship. Ah, do we want to learn at Calm Mind? Uh, I will, I'll have a look at the moveset. I don't want to delete anything. Do you want, I feel like Calm Mind would be good. You gotta give me the go ahead here, man. Ninja Guesty, you need to tell me. I feel like I would get rid of Kines Kinesis. That would be the one thing. Should I just, like, you can relearn moves, right? So. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Just delete side beam. It is, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. We did the right thing. You found such a cool nickname for Alakazam. I do, yeah. <laughs> it is a very good nickname. Okay. So I can trade you this back and get a grappler in return. No bulk for combine. This is very true. That is a treat. Look at all these nice Pokemon you've got in your collection. And a Lola and Muck. You can get a Lola forms here. That's super cool. Same thoughts, Johnny. And I'm usually not a fan of nicknames. Oh, some gambler horn drilled my Eevee. That's the first time we fainted. Oh, that is brutal, man. If we're having Zam as Jafar, we need two cannon called Lagoo. Def <laughs> definitely, definitely, 100%. Have you seen that they're, like, they're making like a. Um, they're remaking the Aladdin film, like they did with the Jungle Book and um, Beauty and the Beast and things, so like real real life action movie, um, which should be good. I think Will Smith's playing the genie. It's going to be a hard task to beat like, um, Robin Williams. He was the, the ultimate genie, I felt. From the original Aladdin, as a kid, I absolutely loved that movie. I still do now, I mean. like. Yeah. Then we get a canopy back. My favourite nickname is Morning Wood Trent. <laughs> and Thunderous is a genie, I guess. Triggered. <laughs> a genius. Guys. Stop! Nah, it's good, it's good. I like it. I I always enjoy this the, the bands. You are welcome, my friend. You are welcome anytime. Okay, onwards to Vermilion City. Uh, actually, we need to find Jenny because we've got, we've got a, um, we've got a squirtle to get, haven't we? Where is Jenny from the block gone? Hmm. Okay, she was like, was it this house? No, it was one up there, wasn't it? I don't know. I can't remember where she was, but I feel like she's gonna be around here somewhere and the bike shop okay let's go in uh, yes I will be um, I will be streaming some of the IC this weekend probably Saturday I think um, I was gonna be doing Friday but I've got to talk to some guys because I can't do Friday unfortunately I haven't actually spoke to them about it uh, there's gonna be like a, a big joint stream thing going on this weekend which I don't know if it's been announced yet so I hope I'm not spoiling anything but that is one big electrode. That is nice. Um, okay, let's poke him out. But yeah, probably Saturday. Uh, I'll do some. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Uh, great balls. Oh, we got loads of cash. Let's stock up on the great balls. Let's get like twenty of these things. Yes. Um, and then okay, we get premier balls and then poke balls. Let's stop with these things. Let's get like, oh, let's get more. Let's just be like super greedy because we're gonna need like as many pokeballs as we can get, right? Yeah. Don't think we need anything else. We probably need to go to the Pokemon Center and start uh, heal up our Pokemon as well before we do anything. I just don't know where Jenny is. Jenny is in Vermilion. Ah, 
What is into super into Skyrim when it's doing all my dragons? Nice. Hey, you gotta click all the bikes here. You get something, but I don't remember what. Okay. Let's see the bikes, then let's see the Pokemon Center. Okay, shiny bike, it's tough. Are you curious about the Arco bikes? Yes. It's by far the wildest bike, you know, very different from other bikes. It's the Aqua bike. It allows you to perform and ride. It's like clicking through. Wow. Like speaking super quick, super quick. And then we go, yep. Shiny bike looks very fast. Curious about the Mac bikes. Yes. As the name suggests, the Mac bike is super fast. Frame pursuit, blah, blah, blah. Man, this guy doesn't give you a chance to read anything. I mean, it's probably not super important. And then, what's this bike? It's a shiny bike. It looks expensive. Curious about that bike. Yes. Simple Bikes 2 is limited edition and a popular a while ago. Fresh in color. One million. Okay. First person who listened to all of my nerdy talk. You must be a nerd too. As a talk, I'm going to have a new friendship. Please take this. Got five hot scales. That's super nice. Super nice. Has anyone got a Lapras? I think Duncan shortly mentioned something about doing the 72 hour marathon during the weekend where the stream gets hosted every time into a new stream. I don't think it was officially announced, so maybe you're part of that. I think. Ah, yeah, maybe. Maybe it is. Yeah. I'm going to have to speak to the guys about uh, doing it, but like, I'm fully on board for getting behind it. So, for me, not doing Friday, I might do some on Sunday as well, which would be kind of fun, especially doing the IC. Um, but I might do IC Saturday and then depending on where we are with this I might do some of this on Sunday as well so that would be kind of cool okay let's heal up and then we make our way to Vermilion City okay we talked to everyone in this Pokemon Center as well so this is all good um, and are you going to stream the IC yes yes I can't wait for the IC, yeah. Like, I'll do Saturday for sure. Um, I've got a, um, it's like my work's Christmas party on Friday, so I will be at that, unfortunately. So I won't be around Friday evening uh, to do any streaming, which I kind of completely forgot about until the start of this week. So um, it's made it a little bit awkward because I did say I would do Friday and, um, Saturday as well, so um, like I say, I'll probably do Saturday and I probably try and do some of Sunday as well. I'm sure, I have to go through a house somewhere to get like there's a cut, like uh, is it that one there? Okay, damn it, I need to go back round and up again. I think DFW Shuckle. Team Mario sucks, mate. Ah, uh, Team Mario is the best, mate. Ah, and you, you agree? I believe this, guys. And there's no support here. How are you doing, my friend? I knew Scott. Scott is a guy who's super nice, and and he's really bad at Mario Kart. Um, but he's a nice guy. Ah, oh, look at the mess in here. Ah, it's poor people. Some big, fat, poor prints here. Look at you, spot the berry. What poor prints are these? Let's find out. Just like a. Should we talk to these people, find out what's gone on? Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into some. No good. They just like destroy your house. You're taking them remarkably well. Look at what the market have done to my house. And they stole my TM. The one that teach Pokemon like Monkey and Sanshu, the move Dig. Ah. <laughs> I feel so bad for these people. Like the woman's just like, yeah, Team Rocket up to no good. The guy's devastated. His house has been destroyed. Team Rocket have stole stuff. And it's all. Uh, you'll get better at Mario Kart. Thank you, my friend. I will. Be, I will definitely try. I will definitely try to get better. Um, I turned all the controls off as well, so I've made it like really hard for myself to like do well. But I think as we go through the series, I like, get this week out of the way, and then into next week, I think we'll 
we'll be we'll be doing all right. We'll we'll come back. We'll make the comeback. Be the comeback kid. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard, huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Definitely not. You've got crazy team rocket outfit on. You're definitely gonna be lying. Alright, um, I'm not gonna lie, Pikachu is pretty cute. Pikachu is so cute in this game. Like, so cute. So cute. And it gets this super broken zippy zap. Can it knock out this Radicate? I mean, look at that. It's like. It's like a laser shot. It just destroys Pokemon. Destroyer of Pokemon. Mage Creed at 18. Wants to learn Razor Leaf. Heck yeah. You definitely want that. Uh, let's get rid of... I mean, Growth's kind of a decent move. It's not bad. <laughs> Everyone loves me. I think that's Raymond. Ah, oh, I can't believe I missed that. That will... With the one-liners tonight, my friend. Um, okay, I'll return to TMI still recover. Dig, excellent. Let's go give it back to the guy who's then probably going to be nice and say, oh, you got rid of the guy. Even though my house is trashed, you can keep that TM. Uh, can we take this berry? Can we? Oh, no, 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 we're not, we're not thieves. We're not Team Rocket. Oh, you retrieved the TM. Thank you very much. You can keep that, though. I've decided to take my time training Diglett and have them learn Dig that way. I feel real bad about your table, though, man. And your kind of the wall in your house. Taking it remarkably well. Okay. Um, don't think we can get out this way, yeah. A Fero! Please come this way. Please come this way. Oh, it's such a tease. Is that like built in there, or were we just actually genuinely lucky to, to see one? That was crazy. Uh, just found you think okay so you guys are trading there's a there's a huge people and a vanish I know it's crazy how quick it goes down uh, that house just got destroyed and you want to steal their berries <laughs> I know I feel bad I feel I do feel bad um, okay if we jump down the middle and hoping that we can come across the the old couple who um, who are the breeders in this game I guess and we do get this as well, which is nice. Three great balls, which is great. There's no need of... Oh, is there not? Do you have a Lapras? I don't have a Lapras yet. There is a Pidgeotto, though. That's pretty cool. Remember when Pokemon Go came out? Like, it was so hyped to come across the Pidgeotto. There we go. Excellent throw. Look at that. Can we get it, though? Two. Three. Boosh! We do. We get it. Excellent. Nice. And give Pikachu dig. Yeah, we can totally do that. Will it, will it learn dig? Pidgeotto. I do like Pidgeotto. It is cool. Um, okay. But I think they are. They're Pokemon breeding people. Ah, oh, it's the old couple. Here we go. Hey there, my name's Mr. Hyper. Listen closely now. My young friend, if you ever achieve the title of champion, be sure to come back here and see me. I'll be waiting. Okay. And daycare. Is it not open? And the daycare lady. I look after her and raise all the Pokemon trainers who leave them here with me. Now then, what would you like to do? Uh, drop off. Let's drop off some stuff. Mm, who are we going to drop off? Ah, oh, no one in our party. No, 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 no. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll come back later. I mean, we could just put something in there. I guess it's probably good to put something in there for later. But nah, nah, it's fine, it's fine. Um, look who it is. Give pictures. I did a cushion on the daycare, so probably I know, right? Here he is. Oh, hey, Osiris. Seems like we can't pass through the gate there. Really? But the underground path should take us to Vermilion City. It's a bit dark and spooky, though. Huh. Oh, 
Still, for one second, Osiris. Is he gonna kiss me? No! I was wondering what the sparkly thing was that was stuck in your hair. Yeah, right. Gonna revive. Oh, okay, it was just a revive. Silly me. It's like a big Pokeball stuck in my hair. Revives can heal Pokemon that have been knocked out in battle. I have a few extra, so here, take some of mine. Such a nice rival. Like, such a nice rival. Nicest rival we've had in any of the series, I think. Too nice. Maybe those will help you when you take the next gym. Huh? Those are SS tickets you have? Yeah, we'll give him one. Like, yeah. We have to. We have to. You sure can have this? You know, I'm definitely going right. Where'd you get this anyway? Got it from Bill. You got it from the top. <laughs> yeah, we got it from the, uh, the, the new arena called Bill. Uh, the person after all, I guess that was good. Just forget about that whole thing, okay? I think I'll press on ahead. See you there. Okay, we'll see you there. We'll see you there. You had a revive in your hair. I know, right? It's like the most ridiculous thing ever. You need a revive in your hair. Who's this guy? Looks like you could give us something. One of my Pokemon is on my shoulder. Well, let me know when it's tail. It's an item on the ground nearby. Okay, we know this already. Man, it's old news. But thanks for the tips. Okay, what's this? Find a repel. Like, that's a repel, so a revive is gonna look the same. So we had a Pokeball in our hair, and we didn't even notice. Somehow wedged between our hat and our hair. I don't believe our rival. Strongly believe that he wanted to kiss us. And <laughs> now kiss. Yeah. It's just a ploy. He loves us. It's not even dark and spooky down here. Who's this? The lighting's not great in the underground path. People drop a lot of things down there, I hear. Okay. There's probably way more items down there. Made that scene where he give you revive so you feel guilty for not giving him the tickets. Like, yeah, hundred percent. It's like, oh, we have to give him the tickets now. He found us, gives that revive. It'd be so great if there wasn't an option. There was just like, no, we haven't. We uh, wish we had another ticket. Ah, uh, it'd be so great if we could invite you along, and just then just leave him like that. <laughs> oh, there's a growlith. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Nice. First Growlithe of the game. It's going to be pretty. It looks like it's going to be tough to, to catch, but we can do this. Um, let's get it in a Premier Ball. I wonder if they're any better in this. No, I don't think so. Just the same as a, a Pokeball, I think. Um, if you don't know, there is a lot of hidden items in the underground path if you want to get them. Pikachu's tail wags when you find them. Ah, that's cool. Uh, we can go back and do that. I think I might just press on to the SS Anne right now, though. And then... Bop! Oh, we got it. Okay, that's cool. We got the Growlithe, which is super nice. And then we'll come back and do the... Uh, I think we'll do the items in a later time. Mate, I don't think you used the Raspberry. Did I not? But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Probably just clicked on it and thought, yeah, I've used it. Okay, who are these guys? Who's there? Quit listening in on us. Okay, is this the double battle? Is this our first double battle of the... No. Campo Ricky. Hmm. Sand. Ooh. Double kick should be alright. Okay, I reckon. No. This thing's got dig, we're in trouble. Okay, it's got scratch. It's okay. Can maybe get it with a, a quick attack now. Poison sting. Don't poison Pikachu. Ugh, of course. Anyone else have a hitmon chan they can trade up. Can trade trade back. Is anyone any takers out there? Any takers? Oh we got Zippy Zap, it's priority. But it doesn't Ah, oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? It's a ground type. 
is why I said quick attack in the first place. I didn't get deceived by how strong Zippy Zap was, but no, never mind. No VGC today. No, definitely no VGC today. But we, we have consecutively, day after day, used electric type attacks on ground type Pokemon. It's got to be a good record. Um, no, we'll keep Pikachu out. Nidoran. Nidoran's such a good, like, it, it looks, it's designed so cool. And then Nidoran is just a beast as well. I'd like, I'd li I really like a Nidoran in the party. I think it would be good. The person you can, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> how, how, how. I cheered for his good throws earlier today, I think, but it doesn't seem to show. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Thanks, you are. Um, we need to heal Pikachu. I feel like the poison's gonna uh, medicine pocket antidote. Cool, that's good. Oh, there's another. And you know, you know, man, you know, dude. It's a tiny Growlithe. Ah, it's mugging me off. Come on. I don't think we're gonna get it. Like really buzzing, buzzing lords. We're gonna get it. We do. That's good. Nido is definitely a must. I really want a shiny Nido King. That that would be that would be great. Like the blue Nido King in this, I can I can guarantee it would look amazingly good. Okay, let's stop procrastinating and get on with this. So sailor, sailor. I've never seen you around. Are you good? No. I ever tell you a time that I was facing a sand true and uh, I picked you out and um, yeah the rest is history tentacle tentacle looks good it looks so nice such a nice it's just such a nice game isn't it it's such a nice looking game Look at that, Pikachu's like, yeah, yeah, we can do it. Sailor Elijah. I mean, you use Thundershock against GG. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, there's a Jigglypuff. I'm going to break it combo, but I mean, Jigglypuff, we got to get it. Okay, we're going to use the berry this time. So Tom, what's it doing? And we need to use a great ball. And we need to do that side. Side swipe. Ah. Oh my god, this is going to be impossible to catch. Okay, excellent. Two, three. Yes! Okay, we get it. That's good. You have to do something wrong if you can't fake out. Like, exactly, see? There has to be something we have to do. That could be my thing in this game. And Jace wants to learn Crunch. Heck yeah. Nice. Okay, we're nearly at SSN as well. This is going to be cool. Right. Jigglypuff's data with it. Uses its cute round eyes to enter. Capture its foe. Then sings a pleasing melody that loves it falls asleep. Bloody, bloody, blah. Very good, Jigglypuff. Get in the box and now we'll move on. There's another Growlithe there, but I mean, I really want to get to the SSN today. Come on, be the other trainer as well. No, ah, uh, no VGC. No VGC. Finally finished my team for the IC next week on the flinch circuit and blog post. Nice! Good job, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to play. It's going to be interesting to see how you do, man. Cheeky Charmander here. Can we zippy zap? It feels so broken to use zippy zap all the time. It's like, this should be... There's a part of me that's like, we should just overwrite it with our next move. Is the IC next week? Uh, I think it's this weekend. It's this weekend coming, so you need to register like now. 
Um, I think registration is open till mm, Wednesday, Thursday, but yeah. So yeah, it is this weekend. There's like 50 CP, isn't it, for first place, which is pretty cool, like, for an online tournament. It's a lot of CP. It's kind of, this, is it the same? Yeah, it's the same amount as in MSS, or is it? It's 50, right? It's not 60. It's 50, I'm sh pretty sure. Overwrite it with Dig. Okay, we'll teach it Dig. Um, I don't know if I want to overwrite Zippy Zap. Should we do it? Should we oh, do it? Because it just feels a little bit broken. Or should we keep it for Surge? Make sure we smash Surge. Some who the, the best Pokemon, electric Pokemon trainer is, and then and then we get rid of it, right? Yeah. Just done snipe me. Wanna do well. Yeah, that's the thing, like getting sniped on stream. Playing the IC live. But it'll be fine. It's fine, isn't it? Another Growlithe. Another Redditor! Yes, we run away. And Zippy Zap isn't as good later on. Oh, really? I don't know if I believe that. There's Jenny! Hey, Jenny. I caught a squirrel that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. Wow, you've got 67 Pokemon. You must be a great trainer. I have a favor to ask you. Would you take care of this troublesome Squirtle? Of course. Who wants dibs on the Squirtle as well? Who wants the Squirtle nickname? Did we already decide this, or have we not? Have we not decided? If we haven't decided already, dib in. There we go. Okay, man. You got it. You got it. We've got to put Squirtle in our squad. Wasn't intentionally. Um, who we're gonna? Ah, uh, okay. Well, well. I think I do want Radicate. I do want Radicate in the Elite Four. Um, because it was in my original. I always thought Radicate was like a really good Pokemon, but just for the moment, we'll pop him there. A Squirtle, and then we need to rename, change name. Excellent. Here we go. Oh, it's not a capital, is it? Yeah, it isn't a capital. Here you go, Tom. Super nice. There we go. We got the Squirtle. What level is it? 16 as well. That's pretty good. Awesome. Right, let's trade. Let's let's heal up and let's head down to the SSN. Take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you, Nurse Joy. That looks like such a good squad. Such a good squad. I guess we're going to have to choose between Ivysaur and, and Oddish at some point. I can't choose. We could just rotate them, though. I think that would be the good thing to do. Even if a Pokemon are the same level, that doesn't mean one is always as strong as the other. But a weak Pokemon can get stronger the more candies you give them. So we're here. Hello there, son. How would you like to trade for Geodude for my Geodude? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Which one Which one are we doing? This one? Ah, it's an Alolan Geodude. Nice. I think it's an Alolan Geodude. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. Okay. That's cool. I like that. A lowland form. Bah ha ha. Surprised, aren't you? My Geodude is from Alola. If you bring more Cantonian Geodude, I'll be happy to trade you anytime. That's cool. Okay. There's a magazine called Pokemon Journal. The foodie edition. Will you read it? Yes. The latest taste sensation that everyone is talking about. That's right. It's Pewter City's Pewter 
crunchies. They're rugged and bumpy and brown, and honestly, they look like a bunch of rocks. But what really matters is the taste. So dig right in, and ah, aye, it's so hard. Hard to stop eating after just one, I mean. Yes, these snacks are as hard as that geodude used by Brock at Pewter City Dream. Phew, they're so deliciously dense that my jaw is feeling pretty tired of all this chewing. But back to the taste, they've got a nice hint of soy sauce flavoring, they're fantastic. And to uh, place your orders for those rocks, visit www. There we go, that was, that was interesting, that was an interesting little read, yeah. It's true that the high level Pokemon are stronger, but all the Pokemon have weaknesses to based on their type. Basically, you're gonna have a hard time finding one all powerful Pokemon. Me too, me too, me too. Um, when my Pokemon was poisoned the other day, it healed on its own poisoning, so I wouldn't worry. I must love me lots, don't you think? Yes. Ah, uh, so the, the, the love, the ruggedy, bumpy brown, I know, man. Sounds, sounds so delicious. Deliciously good. Um, okay, let's head down. I mean, it's a skull guy. Did you see it? The SSN is in the harbor right now. Is that a hint? It's a hint to go. I get so sweaty after doing sports that I end up feeling all grimy. Speaking of which, you know Grimer? It's born from an ocean sludge. Not sweat, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Who's this guy? He looks interesting. This thing here isn't for resting on your feet. You know, it's for tying up a boat. Okay. Not interesting at all. Um, where's a harbor? Can you, this is the gym, okay? Magic harp. Okay, it's not actually for catching. And there's the entrance there, okay. So here we go. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, guys. Uh, not so fast. You have a ticket, fellow. Flash your S's ticket. That'll do. Welcome aboard. And it's not all. You're the hundredth guest to join us aboard the SS Santa Day. So here you go. Please enjoy this breezy outfit as you feel the salty air on your skin. Got a sailor set from the crew member. Excellent. Right, let's let's get dressed. Let's get into outfit. Um, okay, clothing trunk. Um, outerwear, sailor top. Excellent, that looks great. Hats, sailor cap. Great pants. We've got sailor shorts. Oh, this is just getting better all the time. Sailor shoes. Bag, sailor bag, um, switch to Lulu hats, sailor cap. Heck yeah, this is great. Sailor T, <laughs> cute little T. Great, excellent. We're all set to go. Sailor Pikachu. <laughs> Midge, thank you so much for coming by tonight, my friend. And uh, I hope you can come by for the next one. It'll probably be Thursday, 7 o'clock again. And um, we'll probably, if you guys want to continue on with some more Let's Go. It's been a lot of fun, mate. Good luck with your playthrough, and um, I'll see you again soon. How good does the SSN look? It looks amazing. And um, I tell you what, guys. What I'm going to do, because it's been, yeah. I've got some things I need to do for the rest of the evening. So uh, I'm going to call it a day here. It's probably a good place for us to save our progress and uh, end off the stream. We've been gone for a... Have we? How long have we been gone? Let's see. Doesn't feel like I've been gone that long, to be honest. Let's see. Ah, nearly three hours. Okay. It's not that long. But we've got two badges. We've got a Brock badge. We've got a Boulder badge. We've got a Cascade badge. Um, so, yeah, it's probably a good time for me to sign off. And I feel like this SSN, if I could do it in 15 minutes, that would be good. But I don't really feel like it's going to be one of those things we do in 15 minutes. It's probably going to take a good... 30 to 45 minutes so what I'm gonna do is just sign off now and then we'll be back on Thursday for some more if I can do something tomorrow night 
I 100% will, so I'll tweet out about it. Starlight, how are you doing? I'm sorry you've just arrived as we're just ending as well. Oh, that makes me so sad. Um, if I can do stuff tomorrow night... Yeah, kind of a cliffhanger. I know, I know. And I don't want to get into the middle of the SSN and then have to, like, yeah. So, um, if we if we stop now, then it's, it's, it's all good, I feel. Uh, we'll save our progress and then uh, we'll come back to it. So if I can do streaming tomorrow, then come at the end of the stream. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But if I can do it tomorrow night, I can't make any guarantees, we'll do some more tomorrow night. But we'll definitely 100% on Thursday do it and um, that will be, actually tomorrow night would be really good because I can't do Friday. So I will try my best to do some tomorrow night. Um, and it'll be around seven o'clock. So I will let you guys know on Twitter um, so just stay tuned and you'll probably get the notification on the channel anyway but I want to just say thank you so much to each and every one of you for coming out tonight it's been again amazing it's been a lot of fun I've had a really good time and um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night I'll drop by on Thursday gone up gone up Thursday morning oh Nita oh man I hope it goes so well dude good luck with it I hope you're all right and um, my thoughts will be with you my friend um, on that twitch grind damn yeah we we're gonna be like I, I'm like kind of pleased that I wanted to do the playthrough on this because it gives me more time to stream, hang out with you guys, and just yeah, just do a bit more, get a bit more interactive with Twitch and obviously as well streaming the Switch as well is quite nice, so it's getting me used to that as well. So, um, thank you so much for coming out, guys. I hope you enjoy your evening. Um, don't do any more sneaky let's go off stream. I won't, I won't, I promise. We will be right here at this moment at the SSN when we come back to our next screen. Um, stream, stream. Um, no, no, no sneakiness. As much as I want to, I will keep my gameplay for the stream. Because I, I just have such a good time with you guys doing it. And it's so much fun. But, that being that, have a great evening guys. Thanks as always, and I will see you again very soon. Um, keep an eye out on Twitter around... I'll post tomorrow evening, like early evening, like five, six-ish if I can tomorrow night. So it should be good, but I'm, I'm hoping it will be, so it should be fine. Okay, right, until then, take care. Bye-bye, guys. Take care, bye-bye.